Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, since uh, Lili Dawa, peace be upon her, she said what we were saying for the last, uh, you know, before he was even finished his elementary school, that the Quran not only have zero scientific miracle, the Quran is a joke. And then the Muslims, they have a meltdown and they have a lot of anger. And now everybody starts responding to Lili Dawa. Uh, Muhammad did not like what Lili Dawa she said. Uh, but it's not only Lili Dawa saying that. I mean, there is many now. Uh, they are saying, you know what, I mean, it's too stupid even to say that the Quran contain scientific miracle. As you see, maybe in the old days, like many years ago, people who were naive did not know much about the Quran. We can fool them and lie to them about what the Quran is saying and what the Quran is meaning or what, etc. So we change words, we add words. We change translation. We push something here, something there. So obviously there's a reason for Lili Dawa to say that the scientific uh, miracle is nothing but false. When you say they are debunk, that means they are false. You know, they are he's not saying uh, it's just uh, they are debunked. He's saying they are false. That because well, guess what? simply, uh, you know, all the statement the Muhammadan they were saying for the last 20 more years, it turned to be debunked, uh, which means every single one of them it was a fraud but you know the issue is not this the issue if you are a person who converted to Islam because they told you there's a scientific miracle in the Quran and now you found that in Quran there is no scientific miracle in fact it's the opposite Quran is a very stupid book written by a very stupid author the Arabic is horrible they, they speak to you about the amazing Arabic because you don't speak Arabic but anyone who speak Arabic, actually, there is a there is a Muslim who left Islam. He's a big sheikh. Uh, he wrote a book. Let me see if I can find his channel. He don't make videos about Islam, no. Uh, but he wrote a book, and he have his book as an audio in uh, in YouTube. Give me a second. So if you are a person who speak Arabic, all right, this book is online in YouTube. The name of the book, Mehnati Al Quran, which means my problem with the Quran. All of it is written by a Muslim from the beginning to the end. And he is a very professional, very well educated in every way, in every mean you can imagine. And if you listen to him, you know, uh, especially if you speak Arabic, you will see in two seconds how stupid the language of the Quran, how meaningless the words of the Quran. And how this guy who studied, I mean, this guy, you can tell he is not a joke. He is not like a, you know, a kid. I don't know how old is he. I never, I know, I don't know how he looked like. Uh, but this guy is not a joke. Uh, uh, he, he have a PhD, I guess, in from the Azhar University, I think. I think his, his name is Abbas, Dr. Abbas. Faminan. ركاكة القرآن وثالثة الأثاف في ضعف آيات القرآن هي الركاكة I mean I just click at one of the videos the, the, he starts saying about ركاكة القرآن ركاكة is when somebody writes in Arabic but he is so dumb to the point uh, his words is stupid and they don't match together and the meaning is not clear and he could not even, oh, he was not able to accomplish a clear, a one clear sentence. I wish that this video have an English uh, uh, translation, 
but it's in Arabic. Maybe somebody who speaks Arabic have time, he can do such a project, because this is a great book, actually, uh, for those who want to read it from an ex-Muslim. And he is a professional, you know, he, this guy, he is obviously a big sheikh who left Islam because he could not believe how stupid, how garbage it is. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I mean, his book is big, uh, but uh, the details he have in his book, uh, you know, is, is very good and written in a very, I mean, obviously his book is a billion times as language from the Quran, you know, I can assure you that. Uh, anyway, as long now the Muslims, especially the ones who they are supposedly famous, they agree that the Quran is debunked. So what is left for Islam? This will be a good question. What is left for them? Bring us somebody maybe famous like uh, Andrew Tate, but he's a pimp. The other guy, he do rub. I mean, they, they, they are trying to promote the religion uh, in a something very stupid. What if Andrew Tate, few years from now, he decided to leave Islam? This guy, he have no loyalty. This guy is doing business. This guy, he worship no God. You can't tell. I mean, you're not. You're, I mean, who is a stupid here? This guy is a pimp. You see, it, it can happen that you are a person who commit crimes in your life and you repent one day. But the first thing you do, you give all your money, right? At least the money you made it from uh, uh, crimes. And the crime he did is, 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 is so disgusting. The guy, his business is still running. He bought six passports because he knew he was going to be soon be arrested. So he was preparing himself to run away. And he converted to Islam simply because he said to himself, because he have all the one who work with him, they are ex-police. All the one who work in his house, they are ex-Romanian police, including the manager, the big hooker, you know? I forgot her name. Even this one, she was a police officer. So they told him, don't worry, we will tell you when it's going to happen, you will, you, you will, you know, because he's paying money, he have money, you know, we will tell you, but it happened in a surprise, looked like they could not bribe everybody. So they got him into surprise. However, he knew this is going to happen. So he said to himself, I will convert to Islam in the worst scenario. I will go and seek refuge in Dubai, in Malaysia. You know, I will never be arrested. I will never go to jail. This is why he bought before that six passport. Did you ask yourself why somebody he have already two passport, American passport and British passport? Why he is buying passports in countries we never heard of? He looked for countries who they have no exchange agreement with USA to send or 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 Europe to send criminals. Which means, as an example, Lebanon. Lebanon is in the Middle East, it's not far away, it's not in Zimbabwe or Gambia or you know. In Lebanon, there is no agreement that a Lebanese citizen can be delivered to any foreign country. If you remember the guy, the leader of Nissan, uh, he was the leader of Nissan, he is a CEO of Nissan, and then he ran to Lebanon. And uh, he should go to jail, the interval, the Lebanese government, they say, we don't have agreement with anyone to return him. We cannot send him to you, you know, he's still in Lebanon. So this is the plan. The plan was this. So now this guy, if one day he find himself, he do not need Islam for such a thing. And Islam became something he cannot take no more. You know, see, like now he is trying to act like he's a Muslim somehow. People, they keep telling him, stop posting videos of smoking. Stop posting videos of you having girls next to you with short skirt. Stop doing that. Stop doing this. But time will come and this guy will live his life back again. And especially after he come out from jail, because I'm sure he would he would he would have a, some good nice time in jail. After he come out from jail, this guy he will be locked up for many years. He want to do back. He cannot you know you cannot make the tail of a dog straight. It's impossible. He's a dog. So this person in the future is going to be a liability on Islam. He's already a liability because now anything he say we use him to laugh at Islam. Anything he do. 
we use him to laugh at Islam. Same as uh, Riri Dawa in front of us. He is liability. You know, those guys, supposedly they are people who defend Islam, but they are liability because if not them, you know, and the Muslim, when somebody have a million, million subscriber, can the Muslim say we don't support him? Million. Can they say we don't support him? No. Obviously, they cannot say that. Lili Dawa, Mimi Hijab, uh, uh, Yasser Qadi, those are liability. All of them, they are liability. And this is why we are finding them very entertaining. So like, you guys enjoy watching the videos about them because they are laughable. They are comedians. In the same time, they show us why Islam is a stupid and no way anyone can be accepting such a cult. My sky, by the way, is open. If there's any Muhammadan would like to join us for free. You see, Muslims, they make videos they, to respond to me. But nobody of those who make respond there to debate. So they uh, 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 respond. What about debate me? Call me. Oh, let me call you. Did you ask yourself why those people don't dare to... Anyone can respond. So respond. Make a video. Here we go. Christian Prince is a liar. As an example here, we have a, we have a Muslim comment in the previous video. This guy, he said, let us show you. Why couldn't CP, Spencer, blah, 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 traction after night living against Islam? Why did they fail? I mean, really, as today, uh, 12, 15, 21, look like this guy, he have a wrong, you know, he live in the long galaxy. The date for him as today, US today, really? Today is... 12, 15, 21. Okay, I think I read the Quran. There is, there were 700 in the 1999. There were 700 mosques. In 2020, there's a 3,100 mosque. And Islam second uh, followed religion uh, in 22 states. Uh, first of all, uh, your numbers is very stupid and very silly. Because what you said to me, 3,100 mosque is nothing. I mean, Biden, he just got 100,000 Afghani. How many most they need? So 300, 100. If, if your numbers are saying is true. So your numbers are so stupid and very funny and very silly. In fact, if we type right now in Google, you know, uh, like the Iranian church, as an example, I remember many years ago, I saw a big festival in Arabic. They like it's not like using Arabic font, but I could not understand really a little bit. I understood. Obviously, they are using a language which I don't understand. You know, so it sounds like Iranian. I don't understand Iranian. So I decided to go to the park, and in my mind, I was saying, "Man, this this uh, this city is screwed." I mean, it's like there's like twenty thousand people in the park, a huge park, full of people. I said, "All of those are Muslim having festival. What are you doing here?" So I decided to go and I, I went to the first booth, you know, they have like tents, books, etc. And they have big signs in their language. I don't understand anything. And and when I stopped with the first tent, I looked the first, you know, in the in the table, there is Bibles. Uh -huh. So I thought those Muslims are speaking against the Bible, you know. So I said, what is this? You know, they speak English. Uh, they start telling me about their churches. It turned to be that everybody in that park is an ex-Muslim convert. If we uh, search right now, you will find that there is a huge number Of Iranian, almost every single Iranian come to USA, he become Christian. Maybe one out of uh, 20, he don't. It's all over. You do not need to be genius to see it. 
And they become so big in number to the point they have their own TV stations to promote the gospel between the Iranians. Everyone between those, you know, uh, 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 like uh, uh, Iranian Christians, I noticed that they are very active. They are not just like they convert to Christianity and they stay home. Me, myself, when I was in the army, uh, I was assigned to an office. This is the first day I arrived at the office. So they told me, uh, you go to office, uh, you know, and the, the, the first thing I get my attention, they mentioned to me a name of someone. He sounded like an Arabic name. I said, okay, sound good. I will have a Muslim with me in the office. When I went in the room, I found a guy he have a big cross on his table and he have the gospel in his hand. He's, he's hearing the gospel at work. Uh, he said, yeah, you must be, etc. He shake hands with me and I said, I said, so where are you from? He said, I'm from Iran. Said, oh, wonderful. So they allow you here in the army to have those things? He said, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. You know, he yeah, have the, 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 the uh, if you look at his table, you will think this guy is a priest. He converted to Christianity and he told me he is working now trying to convert his dad. His dad is an old man and he's very stubborn, you know. He don't wanna he don't wanna listen. His mom she converted, his family they converted. I mean everybody converted except his dad. He said this is the only one, but I hope we pray soon he will be he will leave us now. So as you see, the numbers is staggering, and this is only from the Iranian. Just a few days ago, an Iraqi Muslim, ex-Muslim, he burned the Quran in Sweden. I think he's Iraqi, right? Or Saudi, I forgot. Saudi? I forgot. Uh, I saw his video actually saying that today he got a license uh, to burn the Quran from the government. You know, and he did burn the Quran. And the funny is, when Muslims burn the Quran, even though they are Muslim, ex-Muslims, they accuse them to be Islamophobic. <laughs> you know, it's Islamophobic. You know, yeah. Uh, and you notice, look, the 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 Sweden embassy attacked in Baghdad over Quran burning. Why the Swedish even they will open an embassy in such a shitty country? Sorry to say. Why you want to have an embassy there? <laughs> what for? They need you, you do not need them. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, the Muslims are very, very upset. And as usual, they turn into violence. They cannot debate you. They burn the churches. They burn the Bible. They insult Jesus. Uh, but you cannot do that to Islam. My friend, I say to the Muslims, don't think that we cannot be violent too if you want. But we are refusing to be. Don't think that you are a person who can do use his hands and his arms. Everybody have arms. You are no match in any way, any mean. I mean, your country, Iraq, was under our feet just for the last 20 years. You forgot? Your hero, Saddam Hussein, he hid from our army in a hole like a rat. Did you forget? So when you go violence, you are no match. And now, like, they are doing the same in France. And actually, I'm so happy, as many of you asked me, to talk about what happened in France. I'm so happy for what's happening in France. I'm so happy. You might say, how in the world you say you are so happy? You know, those Europeans who they are like, uh, we're promoting the woke culture, uh, politically correct, uh, refugee, everybody is welcome. Uh, you know, we are not racist. And I don't know what this even have to do with racism. And any time you say to them that Islam is dangerous, they say to you, Islamophobic. My, my, my friend, they are burning your house, you are Islamophobic. They are burning your library, you are Islamophobic. You are burning their city, you are Islamophobia. 
I mean, they don't want to listen. How many years we are warning them? They don't want to listen. So I'm so happy for this. Maybe they finally they will believe us. <laughs> but do you think they will believe us? Do you think the naked European, they will believe us? They will not. Even if you burn their country upside down, still they don't understand what's going on. They are looting. They are shouting Allahu Akbar. They are burning cars, buses, attacking houses. And the stupid president of France is a piece of shit, excuse my language, doing nothing. Because he is perfectly correct. All the government is perfectly correct. Do you know Saddam Hussein was exist for a reason? Look at Iraq now and look at Iraq at Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein is a dictator, a criminal. But this is what they understand. Democracy, freedom, they will burn your city. This is why it's very dangerous to bring people who don't match with your civilization. They are coming from different aquarium. Their water is murky. Those people, they see the frog as a dolphin. And because they knew that in this country, do not have a real people to protect their own land. They take advantage of that. Every French citizen now is hiding in his house. Why? Uh, eh, not my business. Eh, let, uh, let the police protect the country. Then they come to your house, you burn your house. Not your business, so it's business of whom? How can we, European, who knows the truth of Islam, fight this? You have to spread the knowledge and you have to fight immigration. See, I'm an immigrant myself. Is that true? I'm not born in the USA. Me, myself, and America. So I can't speak against immigration unless immigration is wrong. When any country, when I welcome an immigrant, you have to check his background. You have to see if he is a good person. You should see his education. You should see why he is coming. Why even he should be granted uh, asylum. I mean, all, all of them, the one is coming like when uh, just a few to a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, 500 migrants, they sink, they both sink in the front of uh, uh, of Greece. Most of them, they are coming from Pakistan. Why somebody from Pakistan is coming to Greece? I mean, isn't it obvious? But those stupid European, they are donkeys. And I'm not talking about you as a citizen, but however, the citizen at the end, he's a donkey too. Because who is the one who vote for this government? Who is the one who put those governments in place? It's you. So the majority of the population are donkeys. They don't know what they are doing to their own homeland. And now France is a piece of shit. Who want to live in Paris? Go to Paris. It's full of dirt and garbage and crimes and drugs. And I mean, the, 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 the mafia of North Africa is in control. If you remember just last year, there was a fight by weapon between the Mafia of Chechenia and the Mafia of Morocco. You remember? So because you have a stupid uh, a system, they will take advantage of you. So in order to fix this, you have to change your system. You have to change your law. You have to change all the stupid things. You establish all these years and you have to give up some of the freedom and give the army the power. Anyone who burn a car not only will be arrested, he should be stripped from his citizenship. Anyone, he earned the citizenship. He is not from France. If me, me, myself, an American citizen, if I commit a crime against this country, then why in the world, the American, they will keep me holding American passport? Just take passport from their hand and you will see how they will behave like rabbits. If the French government says, anyone we arrest him, 
and we find him guilty, burning cars and houses and property, we will strip him from a citizen. You will see everybody will go home in, two, five, in five minutes. But you don't have a true leaders. A Muslim asking me who wrote the gospel. You know, the funny is a Muhammad and he asked who wrote the gospel, but he can't tell me who wrote the Quran. I mean, I find it very funny and very stupid of you. Isn't it you, Muslims, in your book says that the gospel of the Christian written by Jesus and his disciples? I mean, do you Muslims have to agree with your books or you agree with your uh, yellow pages, uh, 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 Dawa? Who is the one you agree with? Why you don't call me and I will show you from your books, starting from the Quran, the gospel who is written by who? Do you there? Same time, we will check and see who is the one who wrote the Quran. Who wrote the Quran? <laughs> Do you remember the guy, uh, the ketchup boy, who uh, 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 there is a Christian guy, he made a challenge, $5,000 if you can find me the original Quran. And then the ketchup boy, you know, uh, 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 the son of ketchup, he came back with a, with a book with nice cover, maybe cost him like a hundred dollar and you know like okay i'm going to show you the quran of uthman and then they open the book the same book it says in the in their book it says there is no way that this book can be accepted to be the book of uthman in the book he's holding his hand i mean the guy he went and he searched for a month in the same book So call me and then we can laugh, you know. Uh, when the Muslim, they say your book is, uh, you know, written by unknown people, we laugh because the Quran disagree. Same time, the Quran says the one who wrote the gospel is Allah. So are you saying to me the stupid Allah could not preserve his book? If we go to your stupid book, the yellow page of Muhammad, the laughable, it says, actually, according to the Quran, Allah, he sent the book to Jesus in Greek, which means Jesus must be Greek. The word used in the Quran is Injil. And Injil is a Greek word. It's not Hebrew. There's nothing in Hebrew. It's called Injil. It had nothing to do with Hebrew or even Aramaic. So the stupid Muhammad, all those verses, as you see, he never mentioned once the name of a book which is not in Greek language. So obviously Muhammad the stupid, he is adopting the book of John. This is your prophet. Or this is the book in Greek. I don't know if you can hear the uh, firework. You know, uh, people here, you know, uh, they are waiting for any. This is why, you know, the Muhammad in here, they cannot, uh, in, in this country, they cannot do what they are doing in France. I mean, those people outside, they are crazy. Never even play with them. Anyway, I mean, here in this country, women have guns in their, in their, in their, in their purse. You want to go and burn their cars? Good luck. Go. Come over. Yeah. Not like the stupid Europe. Nobody's allowed even to, to carry, a, you know, a kitchen a zucchini a knife. So, as you see in the stupid Quran, the Quran confirmed that Allah is the one who sent the, the, the Injil. Same time, the stupid Muhammad in the time of Muhammad is asking the Christian to follow the gospel which is between their hand. As you see, if the book is written by an anonymous person according to you, then how you stupid prophet asking the Christians to follow the book which is between their hands? <laughs> I mean, I do not even need to use my books to debunk your stupidity. I use my, I use your book, not my book. When your stupid Muhammad said, oh, by the way, I'm not insulting your prophet. I'm just making him feel better because Muhammad is beyond stupidity. I mean, stupid is a, but because my English is limited, so I will use the word stupid. I mean, he's lucky. If I'm speaking Arabic right now, I will use a word how far away from stupid. Mastool. Way better than stupid. Uh, in the Quran, 
There is tons of verses saying that the Quran confirm what is with us. So you stupid you, 600 years after Jesus, your stupid Quran confirming what is with us, which according to you, written by somebody nobody knows who. Are you with me? So remember, nobody knows who wrote the Bible according to Abdul. But his stupid book confirming what is with us. Hmm. How old is Ahaziah when he ruled Jerusalem? Why you don't call me and we can talk about it and I will show you the number from your book. <laughs> Do you know why they didn't dare to call me? Because I get all their laundry. What? How old is he? How old is he? First of all, you idiot. The book you are talking about is not even... It, this. You see, there's, there's a book in, in the... When we say the Bible, the Bible is a book of books and Muslims are a bunch of idiots. There's a book of history. Like when we say kings, the book of kings, this is not about God, you idiot. You stupid, this is history. So it doesn't matter even if this book is exist or not. And let us say uh, there is something you don't like there. Maybe you will say, oh, there is like, what is the age here? Maybe it's there different. It's not wrong. Nowhere it's wrong. But let us say for the sake of argument, it's wrong. This is not even a book of God, you donkey. There's a book of history. Those are Jews writing about what happened during kings, history. So Muhammad and they are so silly and so stupid like their prophet. I mean, if I ask you now something serious, you will not answer. Okay, which one Allah created first? I mean, who cared about this guy? He ruled when he is 7 or he is 10 or he is 20 or he is 40. Can you tell me what is the age of your prophet? When he received the Quran? Do you dare to call me and tell me his age? Aren't you Muslim have articles about the age of Aisha? In the hadith it says sixth, and though you Muslim make articles saying she was 18? Which means you are saying to us that those are fabricated numbers. Isn't you Muslim each time we show you something, you say this is da'if? We don't have da'if, but potato. You have da'if. Da'if mean weak. That's mean you Muslims are weak. You know, if all your religion is based on information which is weak, how in the world you have a religion? Can you name for me one thing? If you don't like to call, please, you know, feel free. I will be happy to have you. And I promise you, I will speak to you nice. Don't worry, you know. I mean, saying stupid, this is not an insult. You can call me stupid too if you want. Go, call me. Uh, anytime we show them something, they say it's weak. What does that mean? It means we Muslim we lies about what is written in our books. We Christian, we don't say we have a weak Bible, you donkey. You see the difference? Otherwise, we can say the same uh, excuse you say, I can say it's weak. I'm not calling you stupid. The Quran call you stupid. Call me. The Quran call you stupid. The Quran call you donkey. Your prophet call you donkey. Why you don't call me and show me that I'm wrong? Here we go. This is your Quran. The Quran says the one who trusts Allah is an idiot, is a stupid. Is that me saying that? It doesn't say that, CP. Here we go. This is your book. Look at the false translation. However, the one who trusts Allah. What is, what is the problem with the Muslims? They trusted Allah. What Allah called them? Ignorant. Your book. This is your book, not me. You're a prophet. In order to make you Muslim just to pray as he wants you to pray, look what he said. And this is telling me that your prophet, he don't even look at you as a bunch of human. He look at you as a bunch of donkey. Imagine if you have a kid and you want him uh, you know, you want him to do something. What do you do? The Arab, you know, like, don't go uh, far away in the street uh, because there is a beast. Oh. So now the beast will eat you. Okay. Muhammad, he considered every single Muslim is a stupid idiot. So look what he said to them. And this is proven in front of you. Abu Huray reported that Allah Messenger saying, does he who raise his head before the Imam not fear 
that Allah will change his head to head of a donkey? Who wrote Matthew? Matthew, donkey. Here we go. Who wrote Matthew? Matthew. He changed topic now. And guys, who wrote Matthew? Huh. Look at the intelligence. Who wrote John? Who, <laughs> who wrote Mark? <laughs> Don't change topic. So if you Muslims are respected by your prophet, what kind of confirmation he is giving you? So if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. You know what? I want you to go to the mosque and record for me the Muslim prayer. And let us see how many of you raise their head before the Imam. I want to see one single Muslim, Allah, he made his head the head of a donkey. If not, that means you Muslims are donkeys to believe in such a donkey stuff. Prove me wrong. Do you dare? This is not even a language you say to a kid. If you don't eat your, you know, that uh, the, there is a monkey will come from the chimney and eat it. I mean, this is not even... Allah will make his head, a head of a donkey, because he did what? He raised his head. Shall I show you in the video right now in, 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 uh, 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 when the Muslim doing Hajj? How many Muslims he raised his head before the Imam? So Muhammad, in order to give them an order, to make them obey him blindly, whatever he say, he fabricated stories, treating them like kids. Stories, even not even donkeys will believe in it. This is a, this is a teaching of a prophet of God. So your God, Allah, will not make your head the head of a donkey for raping a child, but he will make your head the head of a donkey because you raise your head before the Imam, he raised his head. And how you can see the Imam that he raised his head if your head is down? The only way to know if you are raising your head. I mean, the guy in front of you, his anus is touching your head. So you have no vision. How you will know that the Imam, he is done? It's metaphorical. Ah, this is a metaphorical donkey. I like a metaphorical donkey. Okay, so don't be insulted. You are a metaphorical donkey. Here we go. Yeah. The, the Muhammadan, when they want, they make things metaphorical. When they want, it's not metaphorical. So now this is metaphorical. Okay, it's metaphorical of what? Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. It's metaphorical of what? I will tell you. Metaphorical of a mule. Allah will make you mule. Otherwise, give me metaphorical of what? No problem, it's metaphorical. Metaphorical of what? Hmm? Going back to our topic. So now the Muslims, because they are bankrupt, as you see, their comment is, you know, is very funny. And then the Muslim here right away, he will say to you when he, you know, when you get him so angry, he will say to you, uh, you worship one plus one plus one God equal to three, not one. Hmm? Where you get this that we Christians believe that one plus one? Where did you get this from? Hmm? Can you tell me where you get this religion from? Which religion believe in one plus one? The Christian they believe in one plus one. I will go with you. As long as you believe in one plus one, plus one is a three. So how come the stupid Quran says that Jesus is one plus one plus one and he is one? I can show you the verse from the Quran. You want to call me and I show you, I will make you read it. Or maybe you are a donkey like your prophet who do not know how to read. In fact, the Quran says, the one who do not know how to read a book is a donkey. Which means Muhammad is donkey from the Quran. Don't tell me, it doesn't say that CP, you know, is it? Chapter 62, verse number five, it says the likeness of those who they are in charge of the Torah and they carry it, you know, is the same as a donkey. Okay, what, what, they carry it, they cannot read it. They carry the Torah, but they cannot read the Torah. Can your prophet read the Torah? No. Okay, can he read the Quran? No. Can he read even his name? No. So the Quran says the one who cannot read the books, so he can observe it. He is a donkey. He's an ass. 
Prove me wrong. They don't dare to call me because they knew we have all their laundry. Anything they say, we got them busted from their books. You know, if we ask a Muhammadan, is the Quran is it created? They will say no. Okay. Is Allah created? They will say no. Okay. Is everything created by Allah? They say yes. <laughs> Anyone notice what the stupid what, what is the contradiction now? Let us let us take it step by step. Is the Quran is is everything created by Allah? Yes. Is the Quran created? No. Okay. Abdul, listen. Is everything created by Allah? Yes. Is the Quran created by Allah? No. But what the heck? Abdul, listen with me. Is everything created by Allah? Yes. Is the Quran created by Allah? No. How everything created by Allah and the Quran is not created? So what you say? Everything created by Allah. I mean, what is your intelligence? Zero. So the word donkey is perfectly fit. I'm not insulting you. I'm giving you a rank. There's donkey. There's a mule. There's little donkey. I mean, yeah, donkey are good. You know, you are getting, you know, to the mule rank soon. So any Muslim can tell me how 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 the Quran is not created. That's mean he is inter eternal. And the Quran is divine. And not only that, Muhammad, he says the Quran will come as a man. The Quran will come as a man in the day of judgment. That means the Quran is a changeable. And he is, what they call them, those, uh, the transformers? What they call them in the movie? I saw a cartoon, I don't know. Like Grandizer, like the guy, he's in a car, he became a man. You know, or like there's a... There's a, there's other movie, fiction movie about like their face has changed, like you know their teeth is coming. I don't know what they call them. So the Quran itself will become a man, and yet is not created by Allah. So the man who is not created by Allah is the Quran, and Allah created everything. The second you ask a Muslim a very serious question, he put his tail between his legs and he say Allah knows best. Allah knows best. You can open any book. When a Muslim a cleric support his scholar, in order to protect his ass, it's like disclaimer. So don't kill me, you know, when I say something, because the Muslim they kill each other. So at the end he make disclaimer. He says, and Allah knows best, which means okay, I didn't say Allah knows best. I did not claim knowledge, brother. So all the poo, -poo he made, eh, it's Allah knows best. I said that to you. I did not claim knowledge. So if I'm wrong, brother, Allah knows best. <laughs> Allah, Allah knows best. You know, Ibn, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, who Muhammad, he prayed for him. Muhammad, he prayed for him. And he prayed to Allah to make him the like the ink of the nation. The ink of the nation mean he is the scholar, the highest, the one who can uh, teach the Quran, explain the Quran. Okay. And if we go and read Ibn Abbas, you will see that Ibn Abbas, who sponsored by Prophet Muhammad, peace, police be upon him, waiting for him in the airport because he married a child and raped his own son daughter. From the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf. Qaf, Qaf by the way is a letter, Qa, but in Arabic when we say a letter by itself, we, we say it as a word, Qaf. So it is Qa, Qa. But when you write it as a word, like, you know, to, to, to present the letter clear, you make it a word, Qaf. He says, Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking the world, this world. And the color of the sky take from it, and Allah swear by it. <laughs> and this guy is worried about the age of what who <laughs> what is the age of this guy <laughs> the Muslims are the same as a camel he have a big big hump he think it is a pimple <laughs> like this is a pump this is a this is a hump not a pump 
It is a hump. Do we have any Muhammadan? Huh? Any Muhammadan? The second we ask Muslims any question, anything, you will see the most hilarious answers. As an example, if we ask the Muslim, the Quran says, Noon wal qalam wa ma yasturun. What the heck is that? Noon wal qalam wa ma yasturun. Any Abdul can tell me what the heck is that? I mean, Arabic is my first language. The first time I'd read it, and they said there is something wrong in the printing. I read it again. This is not really so. What is that? I read it again and again and again and again. And look at the false translation, or let us say the accurate translation. Noon, I swear by pen. <laughs> <laughs> Allah swear by the pen. <laughs> hey brother, don't you think the pen without ink is useless? Shouldn't we swear by the ink is more important? Hmm? By the pen? Allah he swear by the pen. Are you sure? Are you playing dead now? I want to know why your God is swear by the pen. So this is chapter 68, verse number 1. However, you guys, you will not understand. The Muslims have books explaining everything for you. Let us go there, shall we? 68, and we will see Ibn, Ab Ibn Abbas again, so we die laughing. All right, this is Ibn Abbas. Now we will understand what noon, because it says noon, what noon? The first one is letter. What the heck? From the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon. Noon, he say, Allah swear by noon. Look at the explanation. Allah swear by noon. This is the explanation. Listen, listen. This is the explanation. Allah swear by noon. Okay, what the heck is noon? Which is a whale. <whistles> mean. Allah swear by the whale? He Muhammadan. Can I swear by sardine? I swear by the sardine and the tuna, I swear. Allah, answer me. Christian Prince, I swear by the wheel, I swear. I answer him now. Okay, okay, hold on. I swear by the shark, I swear, I swear. Allah, now, your turn. I swear. By the sea lion, I do swear. Your turn. Okay, Allah, hold on. I mean, are going to keep doing this? Okay, I swear. I swear. By the crab, I do swear. I do swear. Your time. Okay, okay, hold on. We mentioned crab, and you know, okay, hold on. I swear. By the sea turtle, I do do swear. Your turn, Christian Prince. Okay. Oh boy. I mean, I'm out of words. What? Uh, Allah, he swear by the whale which is in the ocean. So why you Muslim, you swear by the Quran? If your God himself, he swear by the whale. Hmm? <laughs> penguin? That's a good one. I forget about the penguin. First time I learned this Arabic, in this English word, penguin. Like, what the heck? English is funny, by the way. Penguin. I could not comprehend. I mean, how? who made the name? Penguin. Anyway, let it go, let it go. So listen, now is that the explanation? No, we are not done yet. Which is a whale, the whale that carried the earth on its back. <laughs> Hold on. Scientific Mecca of the Quran. 
Look at this face, the face of a fool, literally. <laughs> Sometimes certain things, look, it might be that Andrew Tate came to Islam for the wrong reasons. But guess what? He may be staying in Islam for the right reasons. Wow. How? Oh. I, one of the reasons I accepted Islam was a scientific miracle. I mean, the guy is born. Uh, the Abdul, he said to me that uh, I said, how he convert to Islam if his family are Muslims? The Abdul in the, in the comment, he said, no, uh, 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 he was from Alawi. Alawi, you idiot, is a Muslim. Don't you Muslim, we ask you how many Muslims you say 1.6. So why you count the Alawi between them? Alawi as a, as a part of the Shia, consider as Shia. So when they want, they consider the Shia a Muslim. When they want, he is now was not a Muslim. No, he was not a Muslim. When they want, they consider the Ahmadiyya. When they want, Ahmadiyya is not Muslims. I mean, hypocrite. Just tell them about numbers, they count everybody. Even the chicken is a Muslim. I mean, don't you remember the cat who did not, uh, 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 you know, walk in the Quran? And not only that, actually, if you go in the same here, you will see that uh, this guy, uh, brother uh, 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 Lili Dawa, when in the beginning of his video, he is selling uh, what? Halal cat food. Halal cat food, brother. Where is halal cat food? Maybe in different video. Different video, yeah. Halal cat food. I mean, who? Halal cat food? Okay, tell us more. He may be staying in Islam for the right reasons. How? I One of the reasons I accepted Islam was the scientific miracles. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. And now we know that this whole scientific miracles was absolute nonsense, not totally. Not totally, and later he said yes, totally. <laughs> total. But guess what? Allah led me to Islam. One of the reasons was because of the scientific miracles. Mm. And guess what? Did I leave Islam when this whole scientific miracle thing got debunked? No, I stayed because I grew in faith. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran to the Bedouins. Don't say you have believed, but rather say you have submitted. They were Bedouin Arabs, and Allah says, because Iman hasn't entered your heart. What the so as you see, the Muslims, they don't have religion, really. They don't have your belief. As you see, don't say you believe. You don't believe, and believe never enter your heart. But Allah is saying to them, call yourself Muslim, don't call yourself a believer. Call yourself a Muslim, don't call yourself. So this is what Islam is. Islam is a religion of chicken. You just surrender. Only coward will surrender to the devil. Only cowards. Only potatoes. They try to fool, and you know, the majority of mankind are ignorant about this cult. For many reason, nobody was interested really in this garbage before. And then the internet came, and then a lot of Muslim immigrants go around the world. Uh, and then the oil happened, you know, like they became so rich, and they start building mosques everywhere and using their money influence in like uh, as an example all universities in usa uh, they have the major ones they have uh, uh, a sanction to study islamic studies sponsored either by qatar or by saudi arabia or etc with a scholarship and everybody knows that the scholarship is not given to somebody he is just want to join it is somebody want to convert to islam Pretty simple. Like this guy, we were, you know, we were laughing at him last time. What's his name? Uh, yeah, this guy here. This guy here. He was given a scholarship to study in Saudi Arabia and he studied there, getting paid, eating, drinking, sleeping for eight years. Eight years. Just because he converted to Islam. Salary, free school, free housing, eight years. And for sure he can continue if you want. But obviously he didn't like it no more there. So he decided to leave. So they have a lot of money and they invest a lot of money in this garbage cult. And money talk. There is many people, they worship money. In fact, you will see all those who dimension their names, they converted to Islam, like uh, 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 this guy, Sinko, and uh, Andrew Tetz. Both, they converted to Islam after they went to Dubai. Money. A lot of money, my friend. Money, business, opportunities. Those are opportunity people. If Islam go bankrupt, and there's no money, and the oil is not really a supplement no more, 
then all those who were amazed by Islam, they will not be amazed no more. The same as you see people in YouTube making reaction for the Quran. Many of them, they aren't Muslims, but they are just seeking a click to make money. You will see a guy, his mouth is open like, whoa, eh, you know, and he opened his mouth as much as he can when he takes a selfie, you know, which is very silly and stupid. But we knew that the purpose of this, they knew that the Muslims, uh, they will click at your video if you do that. And that was for a while. And now, like, it's not working no more. You know, before, like, if you, because, you know, like, it, those, they were in new stuff. Like, somebody is a blonde reaction to the Quran. A Christian reacting to the Quran. Muslim, they click from everywhere. The channel became crazy big, and he is making a lot of money. But now those things are not really, it's not working no more, you know. So they would try to find a new business. Uh, and be, by the way, be, uh, before we uh, forget, I don't know if you uh, heard that the the scumbag, uh, Trucker Carson, who many of you like him, he is in Romania having an interview with his scumbag, Andrew Tits. You know, when I said to you, this guy is a low-class person, a piece of garbage, many of you get upset. And you know, the funny is, they call him conservative. Go watch what I post. I post little short video of him speaking to Andrew Tits. Go and hear the, the F word, how he say it. I mean, they are trashy. They are the garbage of the earth. Ask yourself, why in the world somebody, supposedly he was, he's a journalist. In a, he was like, he's famous in Fox News. And he claimed to be something professional. Why in the world you want to go flying to Andrew Tits? Not Andrew Tits flying to him. He is now you will say Andrew Tate he cannot fly because he is under arrest at home. But why someone will fly to Andrew Tate's and he is bragging about it unless he's a scumbag like him? Remember, Andrew Tate's at the end of the day, he is a pimp, and until now his pimp business is running. What kind of a man he go there to interview him and praising him? So if you ever support this man, I say to you, you must be a pimp. You must be a pimp. This is his level. He's a piece of garbage. There's no way a man who respects himself, he will go and do what so-called interview with shuts a scumbag. This is your friend. Do you see him? And they have a monkey in the middle. And they have assigned the matrix. Perfect. And they have money in the floor. And money on the cafe table. This is the interview. Do you see what I'm talking about? How many times I warned you that this person is a piece of shit and nobody and you people get upset and you say, you know, do you remember when I made a video about him speaking against Ukraine? Like they are the one who destroyed the dam? Second day, go check it out. Second day, the biggest nuclear facility in, uh, 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 in Ukraine, Ukraine shut down. And it was causing a huge concern it might even explode. So the Ukrainian, they destroyed the dam so they can stop electricity for all the country. This guy was saying, this is the, the, the Russian, this is the Russian dam. This is in the land of the Russian. The Russian are the one who all this information is false. And you people, you take it blind. Because why you think he is conservative? Those are not conservative. Those are business people. This guy, he was working for Fox News. If his boss was different, he would say the opposite. Whatever the boss he want, they say. And the weirdo and the naive, they believe. Do this man even need more money? They do need money. They will never have enough. Until now, Andrew Tits is promoting his, you know, pimp class. It's the, his website is working. There's a Muslim girl even she signed in his class. A Muslim girl she signed just to expose him. She signed in his porn university. I mean, be a pimp here, open university. When somebody says at the end of the time, it's it's, it's really. Don't take me wrong. I believe still the end of the time is going to take forever, a long, long time. But when people they say it's end of the time, I mean, it's, it's really funny that 
a pimp, he don't have high school, he open university and he will teach you how to live. And then a person who is very famous journalist, one of the top journalists in USA, lying to the pimp to interview the pimp and to support the pimp. And they claim, both of them, they claim to be conservative. A pimp is a conservative. The journalist is a conservative. So are you conservative like them? Those people, they are, have nothing to do with anyone conservative. Being against the feminine movement or those things does not make you conservative. Conservative mean somebody he hold the value of the fathers. And the value is that we are Christians. The value is that we are a human. The value is we will not open the prostitution business. The value is I'm not going to lie to people to make money out of them. So when Andrew, this uh, Carlson, he was working for Fox News, and he said that Fox News was nothing but a scam. So you were working for them for 15, 17 years, scamming us? Why you accept to work all those years? Never let those people have an impact on you. And actually, I'm so glad he did this because I know the one, the decent one, they will notice right away that this person cannot be a person to listen to. He's a scumbag. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us live on air? Any Muhammadan. By the way, you can ask the matrix of Allah to join you. The matrix. This guy, he think himself like, I mean, something, something special, the matrix. You know, all of us, we knew that who he called the matrix, let us say CIA, blah. I mean, if the CIA want to kill me, does it take them two minutes? Just ask yourself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what matrix? They can kill you. They can dispose of you in any second and nobody will know who killed you. Do we agree? If the CIA, they want to kill anyone in the world, not only in Europe, not only in America, anywhere in the world, they can kill him so easy. Unless you are Putin and you have like a, a, a thousand uh, 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 bodyguard around you and airplane flying in the in, in your in your in, in your in Moscow. You, you have to be somebody can be protected in such a much in, in much a way so they cannot reach you. Who are you? You have a bodyguard. His belly is, is, is bigger than his, uh, his his a truck in front of your house. The Matrix. Actually, I saw a video. Uh, I think published in uh, uh, I think it was Hatun Tash All right Yeah He said no, but you're human This is him You know, this guy now is saying that they are targeting him because he said to a girl to open a YouTube a TikTok channel. This is what they are. I mean, the accusation in the court is hundreds of pages. And look how he make himself. All of it is about what? About uh, two girls open TikTok? That's it? Look at this. Just to show you how stupid he is. This guy is stupid, by the way. Human trafficker by the lover boy method. I said, what's that? It's where you pretend to love them. So what, being nice? So I was nice to some girls 10 years ago? He was nice to some girls 10 years ago. <laughs> hey girls, anyone of you want me to be nice to her? <laughs> like, is that the crime? I was nice to some girls? Like what? By the lover boy method. I said, like, what's that? It's where you pretend to love them. So what, being nice? So I was nice to some girls 10 years ago? Is, is that my crime? I, I, that, maybe I did love them. But we're not together anymore, so what? I pretended? Who said I... Listen, now, 
Maybe I love them. Love them. Them. <laughs> I mean, she loved them. You see, guys, I will tell you a story. The first 200 girls, I love them. Um, I love them because they make good baklava. The uh, second 200 uh, girls, I love them. I love them because they make uh, shish kebab. The other uh, 500 girls, I love them. I love them not because even they make shish kebab or even food. No, but they are good in bay dancing. The 2,000 girls after them, who I love them, uh, I love them because I was bored, just to be honest with you. So this is my crime now? So now he is denying that he did anything wrong. By the lover boy method. I said, what's that? It's where you pretend to love them. <laughs> so what, being nice? So I was nice to some girls? How are you being nice? Opening their legs and put them in the camera and make millions of dollars from their, from their vagina? This is being nice? This is how you are nice? You are the one being nice to them? He's being nice. I mean, this guy is opening charity. He is being nice. Oh, come on, people. What's wrong with you? Ten years ago? Is, is that my crime? I, I, that... Ten years ago. Until now, his business is open. Maybe I did love them. Hmm. But we're not together anymore, so what? I pretended? Who said I pretended? Prove I pretended. To... Prove it. Prove I pretended. This guy did not know how many videos he posted online. <laughs> to love. And then what did I pretend to love them to achieve? I was all about trying to get paid. Like, my whole... I used sex as a tool to make women love me so they'd obey me and live in my house to make me money. <laughs> did you guys, did you hear it? <laughs> I did. I did pretend to love them. Prove it. Do you have a proof? I said, no, but you're a human trafficker by the lover boy method. I said, what's that? It's where you pretend to love them. So what, being nice? So I was nice to some girls 10 years ago? Is, is that my crime? I, I, that, maybe I did love them. But we're not together anymore, so what? I pretended? Who said I pretended? Prove I pretended to love. And then what did I pretend to love them to achieve? I was all about trying to get paid. Like my whole, I used sex as a tool to make women love me so they'd obey me and live in my house to make me money. 18 years is coming to you as a gift from Allah. <laughs> and the best scenario is 10 years in jail. So guys, prove it. He's saying to them, prove it. You see, those are stupid people who they say, yeah, they don't think, you know, they don't think. They think that's, that's, you know, they become rich. He think he is in Romania. He can do whatever he want. And as you know, there's many videos he said, imagine if the police come to me and I have a lot of money like this in my hand, what they would do, you know? And he is the one who praised Romania for it is corrupt. And by the way, I, I saw another video, a short video of him. He was saying, in Romania, nobody take welfare. In Romania, family support family. I never saw a, a Romanian woman drunk. You know, I, I was in Romania. All of this is absolutely false. Even Romanian, they receive support from European Union. Your Romanian are very poor people. Majority of them are very poor. I saw people, their windows don't have a glass. I saw people, their doors have holes in it. They are living in an apartment from the time of the, you know, uh, 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 Soviet Union. Uh, so this guy is a big fat fraud. They don't get it drunk. So the, those girls, they are coming from where who work for you? They don't get it drunk. Romania, they good, don't get drunk. Just, just a drink, they don't get drunk. Are you sure? So in this video, he is praising Romanian, and then he made a video saying the Romanian coming after me. They want to take my money. So yeah, on corporatetech.com, I have my PhD program, and that is a uh, PhD is a uh, pimp and hose degree. <laughs> hey Muslims, if read the Quran, trust me. You can get this degree without joining his classroom. Your prophet is the best pimp to follow. You do not need Andrew Tetz, trust me, trust me. But maybe Andrew Tetz, he can like teach you about how to fraud, the, you know, you don't pay your tax, uh, you know. I mean, uh, just uh, like things your prophet do not know how to do, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it, technically, he is more educated than your prophet. Uh, and your prophet did not know how even to set a camera. I mean, let's face it, you know. 
if you say to your prophet Macintosh, he will say, what the heck is that? And then second day, don't mention it, by the way, because he would add a chapter of the Quran, it's called Macintosh chapter. You say to him, it's not Macintosh, it's Apple. He will make a chapter, it's called the Apple. I mean, anything the people, they say to him, he make a chapter about it. The cow, he made a cow chapter. Chair, he make a chair chapter. I mean, your Quran is a zoo and a museum. Anyway, so this guy, he opened a university and he is proud about it. Money. So yeah, on CobraTech.com, I have my PhD program. And that is, uh, PhD is a pimp and hose degree. That I'm Who said that I I'm pretended? Prove I pretended to love. And then what did I pretend to love them to achieve? That teaches basically how I got girls, how I met girls, how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me. Each, those, you see those, uh, those short videos? I mean, there's tons of videos, by the way, not only. But every, those 20 seconds, they will cost him many years in jail. This is how foolish he is. He claimed to be smart. He claimed that he is so confident. But uh, 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 you know, uh, by the way, I believe he's he was so confident. That's why he's saying those things. He's so confident, but of confidence of a fool. He is admitting his uh, crimes. People who not know the the traffic in uh, a crime, one of the method pimps they use to lure girls into prostitution is to say we love you. Let us date, let us meet. The girl she come, this actually he have in his video too, how like one of those girls, she came or the two of them, they came and he sent his brother to the airport to get them there. And then his brother starts sleeping with them. And the behold, but the, but the girls are coming because he is dating them. He's in, he's in, he's in love, you know? He, he made them believe that we will get married one day, we will have a family, temporarily now we need to make money, open your legs and put it in the camera who care you know don't you want to get rich so every single one of those videos is in front of you uh, okay if cp can get to prove should romanian prosecutor have more uh, in bank record in and video uh, you see the bank record is can, uh, sorry it's, it can be about uh, transaction between him and those women but those they can prove nothing except maybe uh, tax fraud a source of income you know uh, if that can incriminate him but that will not be the proof of a human trafficking because you cannot confirm really what is the method he used for this money However, if he is not paying his tax and he's hiding, he's frauding, then he will have another problem. And I believe he have because he mentioned that even in his videos too. But those are the important one. The important is that you lie to women, make them believe that you are loving them in order to make them work in sex. You see, it's possible that a man, he make a woman love him. You know, and he don't love her. Uh, you know, he want to use her, you know, let us say, uh, let's say she is, she is maybe, she have money. Let us say uh, she can get him a job. Uh, let us say, oh, whatever, whatever reason. But this is not a human trafficking. Human trafficking is something different. Human trafficking is you pretending to be in love with girl and you do it to, to many girls, not one. And you bring them to do business in sex, specifically. Or maybe drugs. Something obviously it is not legal and horrible. So this guy, his videos is so clear. He is, I mean, he is so stupid. I never saw a stupid person like him. But because he thought nobody will count what he is saying, he is so proud about it. You know, he see he see himself actually he get more popular when he speak about how he do and what he do. And those young ones, because everybody today is a scumbag, because ethic is zero, is going down. Young men are, are, are not, you know, they don't know what ethic mean. If you go right now, you see night clubs is full. Girls are sleeping around. Nobody knows who is the father of who. And this is the whole world, you know. Muslim country, you go to Egypt, the same. 
You go to Morocco, it's the same. Drugs everywhere. Uh, they are throwing even kids in the street. The woman, she did deliver a baby. They, they throw him next to the garbage in Morocco. No, because she, she, she cannot tell who is the She doesn't even know who is the father. But this idiot, I never saw a criminal. He go in public and he say and he confess his crime. The purpose he is saying those things is just to make people like him. People who they are scammed back like him. There's many they want just to get rich. How they get rich, they don't care. You as girls, who care? Drugs, we do drugs. But my friend, one day in jail, one day in jail, is, you know, nothing can, nothing can take it back. So now this guy, he have $300 million in the bank. And God knows, by the way, they might even take it away. You never know what will happen next. Because I believe that the case is getting bigger, not only in Romania, I think there's other, because now this guy, his bad luck, his bad stupidity, he have many citizenship, which means he have to pay, you know, money to many countries. So if you claim you are British, you have to pay to the British. If you are saying, I am living now in European, uh, uh, you know, uh, residence, well, you have to go to pay the European to Romanian. If you, uh, if you are an American citizen, still the only first $100,000, from your income, have an ex like, like, you know, you don't pay tax for them. The rest you have to pay. And then this guy, look at his face. I mean, his face is a face of a rat. His face is a face of a fool. Many young men, they, they see him as someone so intelligent. He is the most dummy, stupid idiot. Every, every second of those videos is a priceless. To make him stay in jail for many, many years and no lawyer. What the lawyer will say to the judge? He was lying on the video. I mean, this would be the most stupid defense. What you will say to the judge, oh, he was lying when he said that. So now we have the accusation. We have the uh, uh, proofs, document, text messages, etc. And we have his video confessing his crimes. And remember, at the end of the day, I'm a, you know, I'm not, I don't work as a lawyer, but I have, I have my degree in law, right? So I know what the law is. You know, you cannot play this game with the judges. You just said you did that. And he is making it so clear to the point there is no way anyone will say, oh, maybe he meant something else. Maybe he did not say that. That doesn't, it doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> I have my PhD program, and that is a uh, PhD is a uh, pimp and hose degree that I'm. Who said I pretended? Prove I pretended to love, and then what did I pretend to love them to achieve? That teaches basically how I got girls, how I met girls, how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me. See, very clear, very clear. What a donkey! What a stupid donkey. And now, Trucker Carson is coming to meet with this guy because he's a donkey like him. He is taking himself down. Uh, CP addresses why you won't let me in. Let you in where, my friend? You want to let, let you in in the camera business? I don't have any connection with the, with the, uh, with the pimp. You Muslims, you know, you call him, he will get you in. What do you want to do? You want to open your legs for the camera? <laughs> you know, first time they said to me, Andrew Ted converted Islam. I said, oh, who is this guy, Andrew Ted? I never heard of him. And I, you know, actually the ones who start posting, because many they posted, I blocked them. I got angry. I said, what is that? What a big deal. So so what? And then I type his name in, in my phone. And the first thing come to me when I click at the page, it was Andrew Ted's masturbating. It was, it's not a porno page. It was like a blog. And when I click at the blog, they were saying Andrew Tate, his career, something like that. And there's him sitting in like a gym or something, and he's holding his penis. 
the first video I saw of him, it was him holding his penis. And then I said, this is gonna be him. Must be, let me search again, you know? Let me search again. Because what is this? I mean, do, you know, I mean. So I search again, and then each time I type his name, I got nothing but porn. X, 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 whatever, you know, I mean, uh, it turned to be, it's him. But remember, he is a victim of the Matrix. The Matrix, man, the Matrix, they are ugly. Evil Matrix. That was degree. That I'm... Who said I pretended? Prove I pretended to love, and then what did I pretend to love them to achieve? That teaches basically how I got girls, how I met girls, how I got girls to like me, how I got girls to fall in love with me to work on webcam for me. 2433. <laughs> okay, so basically... A bunch of kids. <laughs> Oh, this girl, she is the girl who called me, my, my, my friend. I feel sorry for her. By the way, I say uh, to this girl, she is better than Muslim men. At least she dared to call me. But I don't have patience for your stupidity. Like, I mean, how, how much I will, I, will, uh, uh, I will be patient with you? I say to you, Allah is the best of the creator. You say to me, there's many people, they are creators. They claim to be creators. So Allah, he says he's the best of the false creators. That means he's a creator. So you're stupid. I will allow you to call me if you promise me to bring, make your husband speak with me next to you. Bring your husband. Otherwise, you are so stupid. Literally stupid. I'm not insulting you. you it's your word. It's recorded. There's many people they claim to be creators. Allah is the best of the creators. Look, okay, Andrew, Andrew Tate, uh, he's a pimp. There's many, many, many pimps. So Andrew Tate, he says uh, he is the best of pimps. What does that make him a pimp? Because you compare yourself, you say I'm the best. That means you have the same profession. This is why I don't have time for the stupidity. Already you got busted. You, you yourself, you busted your God. You throw Allah under the bus. So Allah comparing himself by saying he is the best of the creators. That means there's many creators and he's the best. If they are false creators, as you said, that means he is false. He is the best of the false creators. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? So now what the Muslim will do? What the Muslim they will say? What the Muslim will come with a solution? So now the, the Quranic science it turned to be a fraud. What is next? Huh? What is this? What is what is next? Odd reason, funnily enough, like as if they thought that it was a slip of the tongue. I'll repeat it again very carefully. The scientific miracles argument in the Quran got debunked. Got debunked. Let me repeat it again. Hey, Muhammadan. I mean, are we going to play this video for the coming year? Hey Muslims, be honest, aren't you wishing now that Ali Dawa will close his channel and leave forever, never show up again? Aren't you wishing that this guy, he did not make this video? You made him so famous. He have a million subscribers. And now he said this. And just wait, and Rotets will say more. So now you have more, more sinks holes, you know? The sink holes is getting bigger and you make them bigger. You actually, you are the one who deliver us those sinkholes so we can drop all the poop there. You cannot wash your hands from them. Do you want to have a secret wife? <laughs> you know, I don't black guys. I, I, I blacked you, you are a girl and you are stupid. Let me in. Okay, I will, I, will, I will let her call me. Let us see what she will say. And I will ask her the same question about Allah, the best of the creators. Let us see. I'm trying to call you. <clears throat> Look like your internet is bad. 
No, it's not working. Let me try again. Are you using the internet of the neighbors? Like all the Muslims? Oh. You don't have internet. I feel sorry for them, you know. I mean, the uh, Quran is a very stupid book. And the language of the Quran is more clear than the language of Andrew Tate's about stupidity. So, in one hand, they say Allah, the one who created everything. On the other hand, Allah, he says he is the best of the creators. So, either this is a false, exaggerating statement, and that will make Allah stupid God, and he is a false too. Because you made a false statement. If I say I'm the best uh, uh, student in school, and I am the only student, that is a false statement. How do you say you are the best? This is a deceiving statement. Either there is other creators or there is none. And the second you say creator, you cannot say that talking about ideas, because that means Allah is comparing himself to one who creates ideas too. That will make it even more stupid. If you say the creators are false creators, that means Allah is a false creator too, because always the comparison have to come to be through the same kind, the same business. So, if I want to compare between computers, I have to compare between computers. I cannot compare between computer and uh, a rock. How can I say this rock is the best computer? That would be stupid because a rock is not a computer. When you compare, you have to compare between the same kind the same, you know, uh, 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 like, uh, let us say, uh, uh, nature of the things. The nature of the work, the nature of the business, uh, the nature of the kind. So if I say this monkey is the best of the monkeys, I, I, I must be comparing him to monkeys. I cannot say this monkey is the best uh, of the apples. Let me try to call again. She did not answer, I don't know, I called her again. See, I'm calling. She called herself a Fra Frankie. You know, she is not even online. Anyway. What do you think about Paris? I'm happy to see what's happening in Paris. They deserve more. Those people are stupid and they don't, you know, uh, the European Union, they designated the department to fight Islamophobia with big budget. Eh, good for you. <laughs> Can you believe it? They made a department to fight Islamophobia. It's, it turned to be that we have a phobia. Hey, my brother, listen, they are burning your street. No, 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 you're Islamophobic. They are burning your car. No, you're Islamophobic. Listen, look, look behind you. Look behind you. Look, look, look. Is that your house? It's burning. You are Islamophobic. Huh? Let them get screwed. I'm happy for them. They deserve even more. They are not waking up. They are donkeys. Trust me. Those European people are stupid idiots. They will never wake up, even if you burn the country upside down. Trust me. Just wait. This is not the first time they do this. Your people are don't know what's happening. They don't. They don't see. They are blind. They are hippies. Are you expecting hippies to see? Hippies. They are naked in the beach. Women walking with the, with no bra. And you want them to see? There is even men left in those countries. If there is men left in this country, nobody will dare to do what they are doing there. Who dare to do what they are doing in my cities? They, you, you, you cannot imagine what will happen. But because in France, nobody lived, they became so submissive. They became, they called themselves civil. 
But this is not civil. This is stupid. They don't have a president. They don't have a government. They don't have an army. They don't have anything. Somebody want to get my my book in PDF. He don't want to. He don't. He don't want to buy my book. So he want to get my book for free. You see how they support me, CP. Can I steal your book in PDF? <laughs> I mean, I get a lot of support, man. Not only they don't donate, they don't want to even they want to get my book for free. Lovely people. Yeah. Let us see how many people they will read my books in uh, 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 the prophet. Uh, 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 like uh, 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 I have my book in the French. You know, let us see how many French they will start buying my book after what happened. They don't care. Yeah. Stupid people. Same will happen in Sweden. Same will happen in Germany. Just wait. Uh, just wait. Bring more millions, millions. Bring, 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 bring. When they become more than 20%, Europe is gone. Because the only way to fix it then is a civil war. Literally. The only way to fix it is a civil war. And the war will have to end either with one side being winner or loser nothing can fix it those european are idiots they are literally idiots why is the quran and science i cannot buy in canada because uh, because islamophobia islamophobia my friend the Muslims, they try their best to fight my books and because your government are a government of a scumbag in Canada. It's not available in Canada. I will make more books, just wait. But I need to stop coming in, uh, on the internet for some time so I can focus. You know, coming here, staying for many hours is... is take your energy and uh, you know uh, writing books need uh, like needs a special atmosphere to be able to write <clears throat> yeah Quran and science is actually it is number is, is very number two but I changed the name because in uh, in the volume two of the session of Allah I focus on the science so I called it Quran and science in depth anyway I'm, I'm going I'm working now in a new edition of Quran and science is going to be published. I, I hope I will be able to soon to finish it. And we will have it available again in Amazon. And I took any excuse from Muhammadan to flag it why, uh, you know, uh, anyway. Yeah. I made it just about pure response to science. So they can have no excuse to block it or take it from the shelf. Can you translate Surah? Al Kubar Sun Al Kubar Sun Al Kubar. Ah, okay. I don't know why I why I want translated. Yeah. The French book it's called the Arabian Le Prophet, the Arabian Le Prophet, in French. Anyway, you know, I mean, we made a lot of uh, uh, videos, right? And it doesn't matter if you are poor or, or uh, rich. Isn't it all my work is given to you for free? Uh, uh, don't you see uh, thousands and thousands of videos of mine for free? So you can't complain that you cannot buy something I made. Because, I, I, you know, the books is, is just a little support for my life. So when people, they want to get things for free. I mean, I give my books in Indonesian for free. Russian, Albanian, Croatian, Chinese. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you, endless list. Indonesian, right? So we give them for free. But at least leave me something like, you know, you, you need to pay for your bills. You need. So when people, they want everything for free, just think. 
I mean, we go live. Here we go. I'm live. Did you hear me saying anything about making donation? No. When the last time you heard me saying make donation? Yet they want to get all my books for free. I stay with you for hours. Yesterday, seven hours. Yesterday. Seven hours. Have you ever heard of somebody giving from his time? Seven hours losing his voice, his health, staying with you so he can share with you knowledge. Not seven minutes, not seven, you know, not once a week. Yesterday. <clears throat> and you know, we do our best. And YouTube don't allow us to receive uh, like a commercial. All people who download my videos, they have commercial over my videos, except me. I cannot have it. Can you believe it? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> it's my videos. <laughs> people, they can make money from my videos, and I am a Christian prince. I cannot make money from my videos. <laughs> Life is hilarious, right? I mean, do you see how the devil, he tried to fight you? The devil always tried to fight you. They, they thought, this is what they thought, by the way. They thought if they block me from receiving donation and commercial, I will stop coming in YouTube. Because 99.9 .9 of those who they are doing what they are doing, regardless of they are Muslims or Christians, their intention is the money. Many of them. You take the money away, they don't show up no more. They delete their channel, they change the channel, they do something. I have a channel I can have commercial in it. It's called the quality of life. I don't go there. I don't go there. But if I go there right now, you people can make a donation for me. But the second I start talking about Islam there, they will take it away. <laughs> You know what I mean? As long as you are talking about something has nothing to do with Islam, you're fine. You can make money. The second you touch the balls of Muhammad, they block you. Anyway, God is good, my friend, and I have no complaint. The Lord, He provides us, and we are we are good to go. Uh Do we have any Mohammedan? How many channels do you have in YouTube? I have two channels to speak about Islam. You can find them actually in the info and in, in the page here. Uh, Christian Prince and Christian Prince uh, 2. Uh, those are the major. This one have 100,000, 109,000 something. It was 110,000 last week. YouTube eight one thousand. <laughs> the other channel was guys. The other channel was one uh, 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 ninety nine thousand and eight hundred yesterday. Imagine only one hundred increased. That is impossible. They are trying their best to keep my channel down. Can Christian call me? You know, I prefer my time is to, to, to be about the garbage of Muhammad. Uh, she is trying to call again. Let us see. Oh, no, she have internet. Let us see. Answer, Frankie, answer. Hmm. She declined. She said... He don't allow people to call, you know, all the drama, and she declined. Huh. Call declined. <laughs> I will call you one more time. If you decline this time, I will block you. Let us see. Hello? 
Okay, can you hear me? Oh, it's a it's a guy. It's not a girl. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to put this on speaker. All right. All right, I think I got it. You can you hear me now, right? Ah, uh, yes, I hear you. Are you almost my friend? Yes. How, how are you? I'm fine. So what do you think, uh, you know, why Muslims now they are saying Quran, science is nothing but a fraud? What is a fraud, I'm sorry? Why the Muslims today, they discover that Quran and science is nothing but a fraud, a lie? Well, first I wanted to start off by saying that um, I, I do respect all Christians, but um, you, you specifically... I just think it's absolutely pathetic how your platform is completely based off of being negative and uh, hateful towards Islam. What hateful mean? Just just being, I mean, I, I can go look it up on Google, but um, I mean, just keeping it in the context uh, between, you know, say calling Muslims, you know, donkeys and idiots and scumbags and just, okay. it's just, it's just not cool. So, I mean, and, so, okay, no. sincere Christian. Okay, hold on. Your Christian is not going to be okay with what you're okay. saying. Okay, okay. I will go and with you then. I will. I will go with you. I will go with you, my friend. I will go with you. So, do we agree that if somebody calls somebody a name, he is a bad person? No. We just said that. No, I'm saying that I think that the fact that your whole platform is based off of negativity. Okay, if somebody or his a platform is in negativity. Okay. Is that okay? Is he a hateful person? You specifically, I think you're a hateful. You keep person. saying to me about me. So if your prophet, he right, called. Yeah, the, so if your prophet call us, you if you're a prophet, if you, uh, you know, I call Muslim donkeys, and I will call you donkey now because obviously you're not in your Quran. Isn't it your Quran called the Christian and the Jews donkeys? Well, I mean, I I also do have a question for you. No, no, hold on! Don't change, the topic. Don't, change the, don't, change the, don't change the topic! Don't change the topic! Don't, don't change the topic! Don't change! Don't change the topic! Don't change the topic! Ignored. You listen, 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 listen. See, I the second I Matthew. say to you, the second, the second I, the second. Here we go. See, change the topic. He changed the topic. He changed the topic. We will go to we will go to Matthew. Don't change the don't change the topic. You change the top. Don't no. It's not up to you. It's not. Uh, it's not up to you. Don't run away. Don't run away. See, you. You are a don. You are a donkey. You are a donkey. You are a donkey. Because you say that the one who called names is a bad person, is a hateful person. Okay. I will. Okay. Prove the opposite. Go ahead. Was it Matthew or Levi? Who was it? Who? Who? You tell me. You Listen, if I show, okay, hold on. Life. So, okay, okay, okay. I will, I will go with you. you. Uh, you see, you now you change the topic. You change the topic. I will no, go with you. I will. Go. Let me answer. 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 I said Matthew. Matthew did not write Matthew. Nobody do, you, knows do you have a proof? Do you have a proof? Nobody knows who Matthew. Do you have a proof? Have proof? Okay. The chain of I have a proof. The Quran. Where's the chain of narration? The Quran. You the, have proof for the, the Quran. I have. The, I have the Quran. You, oh, there we go. You're just going to talk about the Quran again. Here we go. So, so are you rest. saying to me? See, you again, you are a don. So you are a donkey because I will. I will. I will use the Quran because this is the book you agree with. You, listen, listen. You are a donkey because now, Completely now you are saying. You, now you are saying. Now, listen. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Potato. 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 So look what you did. You throw the Quran under the bus. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you talk over me. I'll talk right back over you. No, you cannot. Here we go. I will. I will hang up on you, son of Muta. You just throw the Quran under the bus. Because if I give you any reference, you will say, I don't agree with them. When I give you the Quran, you say, I don't talk about the Quran. That means you don't agree with the Quran. That means you are a stupid like your prophet. You refuse an evident in your book that the book we have between our hands, 600 years after Muhammad, is a true book. Is the true book. Confirming what is with us. Not what is with you. So if the stupid Muhammad, he confirmed the book, what is with us, and this is 600 years after Christ, after Matthew, 
And then the stupid you, you say to me, well, give me the chain of, no, no, chain of what? <laughs> give me the chain of narration of the Quran according to Allah, according to Hafs. Let, let, let us show guys the people the, 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 the chain of narration in Islam. Are you going to answer or you will not say I will not answer? Don't tell me I can't talk over you. You want to you want to have a civil conversation? I will let you talk. But you talk, I talk. You You're wanna, not letting me talk. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that or not? You are not letting me talk. Do you want to do that or not? No, I'm letting you talk. You're but to you ask me a, you ask me a question. I ask me a question. I try to answer. You said I want to talk over you. So you just said that I asked you a question and then you okay. asked me a so question. Okay. So can I answer it? Can I answer the question? Can I can I answer you or not? Can I can I answer you and give you the mic? Can I answer you and give you the mic back? Or I mean, can I actually get in a few words or without you? I will give you the mic back and you can give me the answer for what I will say. Is that fair? I'm not here to speak about Islam. I don't I'm care. Here I am here to speak. Of, so don't don't call me then. Because I am using a check written by your hand, signed by you, saying this is the book is approved, is good, it is correct. And then you say to me that Islam is a stupid religion. My prophet is a liar. Allah, he did lie about your book and I don't accept. If you deny Islam to be from God, then I can discuss with you without speaking about Islam. Say in front of everybody, Muhammad is a fraud. And I will never mention one verse from the Quran. You are a hateful person. Go. That's what I'll say. Chapter 5, verse 14. Chapter 5, verse 14 in the Quran says, Allah, will, Allah will spread Christ hatred Christ. and enmity between the Christians. This is the Quran. Allah will spread hatred. So now deny Allah and Muhammad, and I will prove to you who is Matthew without using the Quran. Say Muhammad is a false prophet. Say Muhammad is a false man. Say the Quran is a book of lies, and then we will not use it. Go ahead. I think you're being actually unreal right See, now. See, you got busted. You got busted because busted I have. What, Christian? <laughs> what are you even saying right now? Shh, shh, don't, don't, I don't have time for kids. What are you saying right now? I'm saying that you refuse to accept your book to confirm my book. But your accusation is my book is false. <laughs> And I say to you, if you deny that Muhammad, he is a prophet, I will treat you as an atheist. Then I will prove to you who is Matthew without speaking about anything in the Quran. But because you are a Muslim, and this channel is about Islam, what is better proof I have against a stupid donkey like you, except the Quran? And then when you say to me, you call Muslims idiot, I said to you, the Quran call us donkeys, the Quran call us kuffar, the Quran call us animals, the Quran call us filthy, the Quran call us najis, the Quran call us uh, uh, the worst of animals. And then you say to me, the one who call names is hateful. All those things you say about us and not to forget to kill us and rape our women and take our land and you talk about hate. And not to forget that the filthy Allah, he says in chapter 5 verse 14, Allah will spread hatred and enmity. Do you see how you mute the garbage of Muhammadan? Not by muting their mic, no. He wasn't mute, he was so silenced. What are you saying now? What are you saying? I will talk over you. <laughs> don't call him, don't call me donkey, you are a donkey. Because you believe in a book, and then your book, who says my book is true, you don't want to accept what, he, what the book says. I mean, how stupid you are. And then you say to me, give me the chain of narration of the book of Matthew. Let us see the chain of narration of the Quran. This Quran is written according to Hafs. Who's Hafs? A fraud, a liar, a criminal. He used even to steal books and he steal things. He, he borrowed books and he claimed those are his own. This is in your books. Ibn, uh, 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 Hafs ibn Suleiman. Who Suleiman is a fraud like him? He is his stepfather. He's a pimp. Hafs is the kind of a man who ever marry my mom, I call him daddy. Go read your books. You don't have the Quran according to Muhammad. You have the Quran according to Hafs. According to Suleiman, according to Asim, 
according to etc. According blah 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 blah. Asim is is, is stepfather. According to Abdul Rahman. According to uh, Salma. According to Uthman. According to Ali. According to Zaid. According to Ibn Kaab. According to the Prophet. This is the chain of narration. Where is the book? We don't have it. We don't even have a book from Hafs. If you show me a verse in my Bible that says the Quran is from God, and then I say to you, I don't accept it, that would be stupid of me. This is what you are doing. This is why when I ask you, you refuse to answer and you went silence. And not only one verse, you idiot, tons of verses. Same time, you donkey. If the Quran was saying or saying that Allah He sent the Injil, and then the Muhammadan, because they are you know following the mule method, just use you know, just kick, you know they they kick. Even if they are kicking their own book, doesn't matter. He want to kick. When your stupid book says that the book, which is our book, sent by Allah, and then you stupid, you say to me that the book of Allah is corrupted. That means Allah cannot be God. You are not accusing me of anything. You are accusing your stupid God that he could not protect his book. Who is the one who sent the gospel? Allah. Okay, what is the gospel of Allah? You will say to me, it's gone. That's mean you are condemning your stupid God. Your stupid God who claimed to be eternal, divine, almighty, all powerful, who he in the Quran says, Nobody can change his words. لا مبدل لكلمة الله لا what? لا مبدل لكلمة الله Nobody can change the word of Allah. You Muslims, you say no. Allah is a liar. All those, it says, all those verses, saying nobody can change the word of Allah. Chapter 6, verse number 34. Nobody can alter the words of Allah. Okay, is the gospel is the word of Allah? Quran says yes, tons of verses. Tons of verses, and he quote even the Injil, which means he agrees specifically with the book of John. The stupid Allah, he think that the book of John is the one given to Jesus, which means Jesus, he was a Greek man. Because why? The Quran says, that Allah never sent a book or a messenger except in the tongue of his own people. So when Allah, he chose the word Injil, which is the Greek book, the Greek Bible, he just confirmed that Jesus was not from Israel. He was from Athena or maybe from Thessaloniki. And we did not send any apostle, but in the with the language of his people. So if the book name is Injil, that means the book is a Greek. That means the title will fit with the book. Otherwise, why the name of the book is Injil? Allah will never send a book unless it is in the language of the people. So how the Quran, even the book of the world for, for all Muslims in the world. Allah will never send a book to the Pakistani in a language they don't understand. In India, there's 400 or more languages. How Muhammad can be a prophet for India? According to the Quran, every nation should deliver to them a book in their tongue and a prophet who is from their tongue. So when a Muhammad and he say, Your book is corrupt. He is saying the book of Allah is corrupt. They forgot that the stupid Muhammad is a counterfeit person. He stole names and he added them to his Quran. And he claimed that our book is coming from Allah, which is false. However, this is against you, not against me. Because I can protect my book in Amazon. I have copyright over it. If you add one word to it, I can take you to court. I can put you in jail. Your God, Allah, could not protect his Injil. Same time, the other verses in the Quran saying, no, the Quran confirmed the book which is with them, not was with them. As an example, you see here in Arabic, it says, 
Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi. The Muslim translation here, you see the Arabic says, Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi. In the Muslim translation, because they are liars, they say, what came before it doesn't say that. It says what is between his hands. The word yaday in Arabic is hands. Bain mean between. Yaday, hands. What the Muslim translation is saying? Which is before it. False. They took the word hands totally. They took it away. I can go right now to Google Translation in front of your eyes. Just to show you that Muslims not only are idiot when they lie, because this is a lie of an idiot. Why somebody, he would lie about his book and he give false translation. They accuse us of corruption, but they are the one who corrupt their book. Because a false translation is nothing but a corruption. If you say to me, well, we have the original, well, still you are not decent. You are trying to lie to people. So I will copy, here we go in front of you in Arabic. And I will take it to Google Translation in front of your eyes. Take a screenshot. You know what? I will take a screenshot here. So you can see with me. I will put it next to the translation there. Hmm. All right. The one is highlighted. And now we will go to Google Translation and I will post in the front of you. Does it say between his hands? Be my witness. So confirming what is between his hands. Our book, the Bible in the time of Muhammad was between his hand and he confirmed it. Musaddiqa, not only confirm it, Musaddiqa in Arabic mean believing. Believing Muhammad, he believed in our gospel. You see it? It's given you many translation, but the correct one is Musaddiq. This is why Abu Bakr, as an example, they call him Abu Bakr Siddiq, Siddiq, which means what? Which means he is the first one to believe. He was given a name because he is the one who believed in Muhammad's story about. Uh, when he went to uh, 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 Jerusalem in his uh, funny dream. So, even if you use the word certify, which is appearing for us on the screen, how you can say you strip it, that the Quran is not an evident against you? And then we have tons of verses, like here, they did not... It's so clear, even in their stupid translation. Confirming what is between, what is with them. What is with them. That's why, and I find it very funny when a Muslim he speak about hate. <laughs> Christians are filthy. Christians are the fuel of fire. Allah will take the sin of Muslims and throw it on the Christians. Christian children, they will be the slaves of the Muslims in earth and in heaven. Christian women, they will be raped. Allahu Akbar, they are looting the stores and, and he talk about hate. Obviously, when you attack 9-11, you were loving. And when you burn the Christians alive in Africa, you were loving. And when you kidnap hundreds of Christian girls from schools in Nigeria, you are loving. And obviously, Boko Haram and ISIS and Al-Qaeda, they are not Muslims. Ask any Muslim, is ISIS are not Muslims? Brother, no, they are not Muslims. Okay, name for me one thing. One, by the way, look at your prophecy about you. The one who left his head before Christian prince, he is that Allah will turn his head into a donkey. Do you see it? It's in the front of your eyes. The Muslim who leave his head, who left his head up before a Christian prince, I am the Imam. Aren't you afraid, your prophet saying, aren't you afraid to lift your head up before the Imam? That's me. And then Allah will make your head the head of a donkey.
this is alone proving that Islam is false. Show me one Muslim, he left his head before the Imam and Allah made his head ahead of a donkey. And look what happened to you. Look at the mirror, open your camera, open your camera. Show me your face. You left your head in front of me. Look, you look like a donkey. I ask you to read the Quran, you don't want to read it. You don't accept it. Don't mention, I don't want to talk about Islam. I don't want to talk about Islam. He's a Muslim, he don't want to talk about Islam. I'm not talking about Islam, I'm talking about the Bible. Am I talking about Islam now? You ask me about the Bible, I'm answering you about the Bible. I'm not talking about Islam. If you read stupid Quran, confirm my book, and stupid you disagree with, or you don't want the Quran to be used, that means you are a donkey, that means you are insulting your God. That means you don't agree with Allah. That means you don't respect Allah. That means you don't believe in a word in the Quran. That means you are stubborn with your opinion against the opinion of Allah. Allah opinion that this is a good book. Your opinion is not a good book. So who is the one we take? Obviously you, because you are a big donkey. Allah is a small donkey. All right? Who is a Muslim? He, uh, he will not uh, like behave like a donkey and he will call me so we can have a civil conversation. And don't tell me, don't use the Quran. I use the Quran. I use whatever I want to prove you stupid. I use whatever I want. It's not up to you. And this channel is about Islam. However, you ask me about the Bible, I can get you busted in two seconds. Even your stupid God, he swear by the Bible. Your stupid prophet, he swear by it. He says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Do we have any Muhammadan? Don't you see that Muslims are burning the Quran like the Quran now is burned in Sweden? By who? By Muslims, ex-Muslims. Why they are burning it? I will never burn the Quran. If, I, if, the, if you burn the Quran, I will laugh at what? The Quran is the best comedy. Look, I discovered, I discovered because of the Quran, a lot of scientific discovery. Allah in the Quran in chapter 60, 68 verse number one, he swear by noon. Okay, what is the proof that noon is a whale? A prophet, he said. Okay, what the, pro the proof that Allah said this to Muhammad? Muhammad said. <laughs> listen, listen. What is the proof that Muhammad received Quran from God? Muhammad said. What the heck? According to the which, according to, uh, give me the chain of narration. According to Allah, according to Zibril, according to Muhammad. <laughs> Hey, Muhammad, do you have a proof that you went to Jerusalem? When they asked him about Jerusalem, he started giving false description. This is why many Muslims, they left Islam. Abu Bakr, he is the one who says, whatever Muhammad says, I believe. doesn't matter, even if it's wrong. Many, they left Islam after he said that. Because he did not leave the town. And he gave them false description about Jerusalem. And now he's giving us false description about the earth. Look at this. By the way, I heard that Elon Musk, he found that there is a whale carrying the earth. But he didn't want to tell the people because it is a secret uh, whale. He want to use it for his own, you know, he want to buy this area. So from the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, regarding the interpretation of Allah saying, noon, he say Allah swear by noon, which is the whale that carry the earth on its back. You know, I was worrying that the whale is, like the earth is inside the whale. But now, as long as it is in the back of the whale, I feel better. Imagine, guys, we are living inside the whale. That's not fun. It's back. And while in the water, look, the whale is in the water. This is not like a dry whale. No. This is not a desert whale. No. This is not like those rich people, they call them whale because they are rich. No, no. This is a real whale. In the water. And beneath, which is the bowl. <laughs> the complicated science. Look at this. And under the bowl, there is a rock. And under the rock, there is the dust. And none knows what is under the dust, save Allah. Here we go. The Prophet Muhammad knowledge stopped. He stopped. That's it. Brother, we do not know what is under the dust. Our knowledge is limited. Sorry, I cannot tell you more. 
And this guy is worried about Matthew. <laughs> and then we continue. The name of the whale is Lewish. Is that Lewish Farrakhan? Okay, where the name is coming from? If we check, we will find that those are legions. They exist long before Islam, and this is not an Arabian legion. This is coming from India, Persia. Lewish, Lotaya, Bahamut, Bahamut. This is a word, by the way, is mentioned in the in the uh, 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 in the in, in our books. Muhammad, he copy anything. He put it there. But Bahamut is not what he's saying. Bahamut in Islam it turned to be a whale, and some say that it look the Muslims they are not sure about the name Bahamut Liwana Talahut. Uh, Liwan, what is that? You can tell those are not Arabic names. I mean, why Allah is calling those names by um, what, who gave them those names? Their mommy? Who gave this law in this uh, this whale the name? He was a bit of somebody. <laughs> and the funny one, he said to you, you are a hateful person. So the Quran call us dogs, pigs, monkeys. Is that okay? This is not the topic, you know, the, the, he was change topic. Right away in a second, they try to smear you, they try to frame you, they try to paint you, demonize you, to make you, you are a person who speak hate. Why? Because you call us donkeys. Well, you are. Only donkeys believe in what you see in front of you. I will show you another proof that you are a donkey. When you're a prophet, he say, that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy who will look like the father. And when the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl who will look like the mother. Who is the donkey who will believe in that? You tell me. Now I know what happened between your mom and your dad. Obviously your dad is the one who comes first. Maybe because he never was able to make your dad or your mom come first or come ever. Look at this, you know. Let us see, let us see. Where is the hadith? That's science. Who can beat the science? This is not a science of a donkey. This is a science of somebody, he have a PhD. The Messenger of Allah said, the, uh, by the way, aren't you the one who said to me, show me the chain of narration? Here we go, Sahih. Mr. Chain of narration. Hello? Don't tell me now you don't accept the chain of narration. You must have the chain of narration. Hello? And now he said to me, don't show me the Quran. Don't show me the Hadith. Huh? So the Prophet, from the chain of narration, authentic, it says, the Messenger of Allah said, the man, water is thick and white. Expert. He saw a lot of men, water, man. And the women, water is thin and yellow. He saw a lot of women, water, man. He used to have a golden shower. That's why it's called yellow. Yellow. You see, their water is yellow. Are you sure, Muhammad, this is orgasm, not piss? Whichever of them comes first, the child resembles the parents. What if they come in the same time? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. What if both of them did not come? <laughs> You know, like, you know, I was worried, really, if I want to get married. I mean, if I come first, my, my son will look like me. That's really horrible. That's scary. You know, I don't want that. I don't want what happened to me to happen to my son. So I said, what I would do? And then I saw this and I felt relief. Now I can get married. Very simple. I will never come first. I will have a beautiful baby girl and not a boy because he will look like me. If he's a boy, he will look like me. In different hadith says adhkar, which means he will be male and look like the father. Science, this is science, this is DNA. 
In actually, in fact, Muslims in different interpretation, they say this is about the DNA. Chromosome. Chromo <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, the chicken, when they come from the egg, like, why sometimes the chicken, like, like one of the egg is a rooster? Is that because that the rooster came first? It's just a question. I mean, I don't know if you can tell us, you know. So, and what, what, what they, their, what their come of the women have to do with the, with the look or even what the, the gender, who come first? What is that? The heck is that? And you are talking about donkeys and stupidity and you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can show you a lot of uh, smart things uh, your prophet said. Uh, as an example, uh, not limited. The science of a prophet Muhammad. The prophet said, he who, who has morning meal of seven ajwa, which means date, you know, fruit, will not suffer harm that day through poison or magic. And what make it more funny, Muhammad, he, according to the books of the Quran and the Hadith, he suffered from both. So how the idiots, how the idiots ones, they say that Quran have a science when Muhammad himself, according to them, he suffered from poison. He died by poison. He, he literally died by poison. And according to Muslims, he was in the black magic for, for more than a year. It took Allah, somebody made for him 12 knots. Look, look, the science of the Quran. Have you ever heard about a God? He believed in the making knots, voodoo? The God of voodoo is Allah? And Allah, no, Allah is scared from the voodoo actually. He could not even fix it. Took him 12 months to fix the magic for Muhammad. Every month he was able to open one knot. The guy, he did 12 knots. Look at this. Seek refuge by Allah, by Allah, from the evil of what he created, from the evil of Otari, dark night, when it come, from the evil of those who blow in the nut, hoof, 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 from the envy of the eye. Oh, but what the heck is that? By the way, the stupid uh, uh, Ridawa, in one of his videos, he says he used to believe in the envy of the eye. It's in the front of you in the Quran, Ridawa. I wish I remember which video he said that. Maybe in the same video, actually. The one about uh, science. He said he used to believe in the envy of the eye. He used to have it in his car. It's in the Quran, in front of you. You know? I will tell you, about, this is a true story about, about, uh, the, about the envy. You know, somebody, uh, because I'm very handsome, uh, once he envy me, uh, because I'm very really good looking. Guess what happened? Second day, Allah punish him and make him look like me. Unbelievable. When I saw him, I mean, I said, what, what happened to you? He said, don't, please, please don't look at me. I said, look, what, let me look, let me look. We are two now. Look, <laughs> you know, <laughs> unbelievable. So the evil who blow in the knot, the guy you call me, I'm going to do something to you. Because now I have your name in Skype. And I decided to do some nuts for you. I will drive you nuts from now on. This is not number one. Not number two. Not three. Four. And now I will make it more complicated. Not number five. Not number six, not number seven, not number eight. 
And now I will make it impossible for Allah to open it. Not Who in the world can open this knot? Not you, not your God. I said I not you. I drive you not. Fix it. Just fix it. Let us see how you can fix it. As you see, Allah Himself is, you know, is, is really scared because of the knots. And your prophet, somebody put knots for him. Don't waste my time, man. You are just a kid. Anyway, talking about Islam. I just made a knot for you. You cannot call me. Try, try. Try to call me and to see if the knot will work. You know? You know what? I will make even the knot more effective. I'm going to draw the knot over your Skype to make it connected right away to your computer. You try like, you know, I will not your computer. Your prophet is not. You, your prophet, you believe in such a garbage? Shall we go and read the interpretation of these verses so you will die laughing? And by the way, I will give you Sahih chain of narration. <laughs> what is the Sahih chain of narration? Give me the chain of narration. <laughs> Uh, just uh, I don't have time for kids if you want to talk to me you see I'm giving you opportunity to talk to someone like me or nobody I'm being very humble speaking to idiots this is how humble I am but when you call me you says I'm not going to accept this I cannot who care if you accept or not I'm not going to even speak to you when you deny the evidence from your book that mean you are an idiot and there's no point of speaking to you. And now everybody will laugh at you. You call me. You refuse to accept your Quran, which means I proved you wrong. You went silence. You do not know what to say. You changed the topic when we spoke about hatred. Because you know, you know that you are just a liar and you Muslims are the one who promote hate. You promote hate and you accuse people of it. You are, you know, the, the Muhammad and they are the same as someone. He kills somebody and he go in the funeral, in the front line. Queen, why you want to talk to me? What, what do you want, Queen? What do you want? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? This is why they don't dare really to debate me. And the only way to escape debating me and the embarrassment to say, I don't want to talk about Islam. See, he throw Islam under the bus because Islam will make it very embarrassing. His question is not valid no more. His topic is not valid no more. His argument is stupid. So don't talk about Islam. He throw his prophet and his Quran under the bus. Yeah, I read the chat, but I'm not reading it, by the way. I'm using the not artificial. I don't know how to read, how to write, but I have that chapter of the knot, you know, and like, you know, you, you people, you type things like as an example, just to show you the smart Muhammad. Muhammad is a person. He is a very high tech. It's hard to explain to you. Most of you are ignorant, you know, like, sorry, I, I have to say it. I mean, in your face, better than saying it in your back. All right. So Muhammad, brother. He received Quran from Allah, and then uh, when Allah he received, when Allah he sent him the Quran, he didn't send him Quran in Arabic. No, no, he sent it to him in the sound of a bell, like not the one you see in the Christmas, like jungle bell, jungle bells. No, ton, teradum, 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 teradum. The Prophet of Allah he did not receive Quran in Arabic, brother. He received Quran in a sound of a bell. And then how Allah Prophet, he translated the sound of the bell to Arabic Quran. Hmm. Okay, this is the chapter of Al-Fatiha, brother. Okay, 
but uh, there is one word he said can you can you send me the facts again brother the Morse uh, yeah there's one word in the beginning I could not focus please can you repeat Allah uh -huh. okay stop 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 hold on let me write it down sheesh kebab what a half pound of oil olive oil it says oil doesn't say oil. okay play it again oh it's camel urine sorry I thought it's olive oil. It's a half a pound of camel urine. Okay, camel urine. All right, continue, please. Oh, seven ajwa. Okay, seven ajwa. Are we making like food or now? Like, is that is that the Fatiha chapter? I mean, what 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 ajwa and uh, what the heck? You know, can you continue, please. Stop, stop, stop. In the name of Allah. Okay, okay. Oh, Allah. Okay, that's a good one. Second one. Okay. Wallahi, no, wallahi, okay, wallahi, it's wallahi. So we have Allah, wallah, we have Allah, we have wallahi. What else, what else? By noon, he, Allah swear by noon. We, we go back to noon now. What the heck? Look, by noon. Allah swear by noon. Ah, this is the verse about noon. Uh, noon will Quran wa ma yasturun. What Allah swear by noon, which is a wheel in the sea. Okay, what else, what else? Can you tell us which sea? Sri Lanka Sea? Is that where Adam, Prophet Adam, he landed? You know, honestly, for me, I was really, I like Sri Lanka, you know? It's a very beautiful country, if you ask me, you know? But I became more in love with Sri Lanka because this is where we are coming from. I could not believe that I can now ask for a Sri Lankan passport. I thought that's it. I'm stuck with this American passport, you know? But... We are from Sri Lanka, all of us. We can go right now to Sri Lanka to visit our grandfather, Adam Footprint. <laughs> from amongst those. Now if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? Where, where? He was, he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped, but Allah placed him on the earth. You know, when you say it dropped, actually this is hurt. I mean, imagine that Allah, he dropped Adam over his ass from very high in heaven. Now, he did not drop. So he sent him in parachute. You see, in Christianity, the garden of Adam and Eve is on earth. In Islam, no. Islam, the God, uh, Eve and Adam, they were not in garden. They were in heaven in the sky. <laughs> so listen, listen. Okay, what, what happened? What happened, please? Where did he land? Where, where? People, take a, uh, take a note. You, you people are really weird. I mean, this is this is just a pure golden science. And you people, you don't want to... to uh, huh? You know? At least he's not using Morse... Uh, Guys, we receive a signal. Signal. It's coming. It tells us where exactly the attitude, where where Adam is going to land. Uh, can you translate, brother, uh, uh, what we receive? He was. He wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. Where? Where? This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Prophet Muhammad said that himself. This is serious. Take note. Take note. The Prophet himself, GBS of the Prophet, is working. Activated. GBS, GBS, how do you do? Prophet Muhammad created you. He found out where Adam landed. Shame on Muhammad not to know. Be me, Nino, Nino, you. Science of Muhammad, barbecue. Where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. No way. He came down in what is known as the Indo Pak subcontinent. Precisely. Precisely. Sri Lanka. Look, he just gave us the address. Precisely. I mean, do you hear the word precisely? Are you deaf people? Are you deaf Christians? Are you deaf? Why you don't convert to Islam right now? Precisely, Allah sent Adam in Sri Lanka. Mufti Mink, I have a question for you. Sri Lanka is an island. How Adam, he did visit Mecca 40 times during his lifespan, which is more than a thousand years, according to Muhammad. 40 times. Yeah, the uh, 40 is the way they say it in the Philippines in some area.
once I was going in the in the bus, and I told the guy, uh, he told me, sir, I will give you back 40 pesos. I said, what? He said, 40 pesos. I said, okay, say it one more time and keep the money. He said, 40 pesos. <laughs> so brother, listen carefully. He landed in Sri Lanka, and then he went from Sri Lanka 40 times to Mecca. Four, four the time. But Sri Lanka is an island. Do you think Adam he was like a maybe a championship chimpanzee in in uh, in a swimming? Four the time, backward, forward, backward, forward. Hey Adam, where are you going? To Mecca. Where are you coming from? From Mecca. Where are you going? To Mecca. Aren't you? It's very far, man. Sri Lanka to Mecca, and how we go there? How we find the way? How we find the sand? Did Allah put directions for him? Okay, so Adam Prophet, Islam is, uh, is uh, see, this guy is worried about Matthew. <laughs> this potato Muhammad and he's worried about Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Tell me who's Matthew. I want to know who's Matthew. <laughs> Hey, listen, what is the chain of narration for this story? Did Muhammad meet Adam, by the way? I mean, who, who, where did he get this information from? Do you think Muhammad, he found like a... Ah, I think, you know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, hmm. How Muhammad, he found this information? I know. People, they try to hide it, the truth from you. Prophet Muhammad, once he was walking in the beach. And he found a letter in the ball. From Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. And Prophet Adam, in his last journey in Sri Lanka, he said, I'm going to leave this for Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad was walking down street, walking down the beach. La 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 He looked, he said, a ball. In the beginning, he said, genie in the ball, genie in the ball. There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of the genie, believe me or not. And a bunch of genie, they wrote Muhammad all day. Go watch the, uh, go uh, read the story. Unbelievable. Very beautiful. So he saw the, uh, the ball, you know. He said, what the heck is that? And look, this, uh, is this ball wearing karafat or something? What, what, what is, what is around the ball here? Must be very innocent from the time of Adam, Prophet Adam. At the time of Adam, there was papers, by the way, and ink and printing, you know. You don't have HP at that time, to be honest with you. They, they have laser. They have, like, you know, the old style, the one, you know. You use, like, uh, 5G at that time. They don't have, the, so, you know, like this technology today, you know. So, uh, you know, they do. Uh, he, a Prophet Muhammad, he saw it uh, in the sand. He cleaned it, and he prayed to Allah, says, thank you, Allah, for the message. Allah told him, you eat it. This is not from me, you know. So the Prophet, he looked at Allah, well, look, what? It's not from you, it's from who? And the Prophet, he says, so what, what from who? Allah told him, open the letter. Uh, the Prophet, he says to uh, Allah, are you stupid or what? Don't you know, I do not know how to read? What's wrong with you? And then, you know, like, oh, 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 during this conversation, Muhammad, he received a phone call from Zakir Naik. So Zakir Naik said to him, Prophet Muhammad, please be open him. He didn't read Arabic. He didn't read English. And then, and then, and then, and he opened the ball. And when he opened the ball, Allah made him the miracle. He started reading. The, Zakir Naik, the prophet, he started reading. Are you sure? Put in print. What the heck is the Why you are like, why you are going back in your back as almost you are going to sleep? Just tell me, tell me. How the prophet did not know how to read and he was able to read this letter. Put in print. Allah the Almighty. And he can make him read. Okay, don't you Muslim, you say he died, still he cannot read? Get the breath. Allah is very moody. In fact, there is a person in India in the Prime Minister. What the person in mean India, the Prime Minister, have to do with our story? I will explain to you. His name is Moody. Our prophet is Moody. What the heck? 
the guy in India, the prime minister, his name is Moody, and your prophet is Moody. What is the connection? Explain. Very simple. The prophet Muhammad sometimes is Moody. Would mean sometimes he can read and sometimes he cannot read. What the heck? The prophet Muhammad sometimes he can read and sometimes he cannot read. Exactly. And okay, at this time he can read. Exactly. Uh, what he did read? I will tell you what he read. In fact, Mufti Mink, he will tell us what happened. Oh, Mufti Mink will tell us what happened. Okay, Mufti, what, what happened? He came down in what is known as the Indo Pak subcontinent, precisely Sri Lanka. There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. If you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth, but it is. I'm not trying to imply anything. Look, look, it is from this earth. Look, listen, don't, don't, I'm not trying to imply. It's not like the matrix or something. Please don't don't make assumption. It is from the earth. No, no, no. It's it. It is. It is. I mean, it's not a slip, but a tongue or something. No, no. I don't mean what you think. It is from the earth. Okay. But I'm just saying it is so beautiful. Maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. Maybe, maybe you are right. Maybe. But it's a beautiful place. It is. It is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that's. They don't know for certain. Look, but you know, all this drama, I do not know for certain. All this is stirring, you do not know for sure. Okay, so so now he can confirm it's Sri Lanka, but he didn't confirm that the peak of Adam is where he landed. They are not sure. See, Muslims are not sure. Spot is the place, but roughly then. What about Hawa? When roughly, roughly. Roughly, I like roughly. Where did she come down? In G where Hawa she came down, Hawa is Eve. That that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly then. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? Where? In Jidda. No way. Where is Jidda? Where is Jidda? Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula. Oh. In what we know today as Saudi Arabia. And what is the meaning of Jidda or Jadda? Grandfather, Jidda. grandmother, grandmother. It means the grandmother. It is named after... It, it's named after Eve. Jidda is named after Eve, brother. I mean, who can deny science? And this potato, he was worried about Matthew. <laughs> yeah, he said it precisely. I like, mean, Muslim precisely. I mean, don't you know that the, the, the Hamas precisely, they send their rocket on the Israeli. The rocket of Hamas send precisely to kill the Jews. But the rocket of Hamas fall over Hamas precisely. So when a Muslim, he say precisely, I mean, come on, it can miss a hundred kilometer, it can miss 10 kilometer, it can miss uh, no meter. You know, it's a precisely rocket of Allah. Do we have any Muhammadan? The guy who called me, too bad he's an idiot, otherwise I wanted to talk to him. But he's a stubborn like a mule. He didn't talk about Islam. I am here to talk about Islam. Your religion is very laughable. This is why I like it, you know. Yeah. Precisely. Do we have any Muhammadan? So now what the Muslim, they will come to us to convince about Islam. The, the scientific uh, America, it turned to be a fraud. And the people are leaving Islam. The Muslim says to me, a lot of people converting to Islam. So I, I found this video very uh, uh, alternative to our topic. Look at look at the holiness of Apostate Prophet. Smash Allah. I mean, you look holy, man. You look like Prophet. This to go to Turkey. This guy is Turkish. All the Muslim like this, like they close their eyes, they grow the beard. You know, they give fingers to each other when they go out in the street. Yes, and they go to night club and drink wine and black label. But that will not change the fact that they are true believers. Go, go, Upset uh, Prophet. What's going on? Assalamu alaikum. And look, look, he is copying the Muslim music. Muslim, they cannot even make any video without the music. Like music in the background. Oh, wow. What is that? What the heck is that? Genie, genie. It's a genie religion, you know, my brother. Holy. It's a holy thing. Assalamu alaikum. My heart is breaking. Oh, brothers and sisters, my soul is aching. Brothers and sisters, did you know that so many people 
are leaving Islam every day. No way. Why would anybody leave such a beautiful religion? Why would they choose to become a sick disbeliever instead? A'udhu Billah. Brothers and sisters, 100,000 Muslims are leaving Islam every single year. Over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. I'm telling you, this is serious stuff. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. Yes, we say that there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and Islam is growing day by day. But the standard narrative has holes. And we are not proud of that. And we're not proud of that. Apostates are everywhere. They are among us. They are even people who memorize the Quran. They are copies of the Quran. The youth are full of doubts. Our youth are full of doubts. And we tell them, doubts? What doubts, man? Doubts? What doubts, man? Have some guts, be a man. Have some guts, be a man. But nobody is answering their questions. And nobody's answering their questions. We tell them to stop questioning and to stop being emotional. And we tell them to be a Chad. Be a Chad. You can do it. I believe in you. But instead, they choose to be bad. We've seen this happen, unfortunately. We've seen this happen to a lot of people. If it continues like this, your child is going to become an apostate. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. Imagine your child, your child, the child that you are raising could end up with the disbelievers, with the kuffar and go to hellfire. Hellfire will want to swallow them. Hellfire will roast them. Roast them. Toast them. Toast them. Break them. Break them. Shake them. Shake them. Hellfire. Hellfire will annihilate them. Them. And the rest of us will be watching. We'll be watching. Brothers and sisters, we must act now. We must do something about this. And what you can do is to donate to our channel so that we can do something. May Allah keep us firm. Never let us go astray. May Allah keep our children firm. If we don't take constructive steps now, this is going to become an avalanche. It is going to become an avalanche. A tsunami. A tsunami. The apostates, they are everywhere. They don't make it public, they hide it. They are leading prayers. They are leading prayers to the masjid. They are still living the life of a religious Muslim. And they are still leading that life while simultaneously declaring their apostates. Brothers and sisters, if you feel as strongly about this as I do, then please donate to us and our cause. You can make a one-time donation or a monthly donation. Please be generous. Please give whatever you can so that we can take the responsibility and alhamdulillah spread apostasy. Donate now. Help now. You may even receive many gifts in heaven, in paradise, in Jannah. You can get a house next to me or next to some other very good looking man. <laughs> you have an opportunity right now on this Haram New Year. You can do something halal and donate your money to us. So what are you waiting for? Donate now. Leave it to Sheikh Kabudi. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. The important brother is donate now to lead Dawa and Mimi Hijab because they are the one who can save the Muslims from converting to uh, Christianity. And uh, you know, we are uh, proud of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's debunked. For the podcast. And I for one, I'm sat here. I'll quickly uh, touch up on this quickly because it's not really that important. So, in the Andrew Tate video that I did, I mentioned that the scientific miracles in the Quran got debunked. And for some odd reason, funnily enough, like as if they thought that it was a slip of the tongue. I'll repeat it again, very carefully. Can you repeat it slowly? The scientific miracle... Get it closer, man. What's wrong with you? Why are you getting so close to the microphone? I mean, even your microphone, I mean, all the money you are making from this, what, what kind of microphone you got? What is that? Is that from like a garage sale? Okay, but I don't hear you. You know, Shaitan, he did peace in my ears, brother. The Prophet said, if you look up the prayer. The tongue. I'll repeat it again very carefully. The scientific miracles argument in the Quran got debunked. What I don't like about it is the bunk. What a bunk you are. So all this drama you Muslim you made for all those years, scientific miracles, you know, uh, did that he made a book about it, Zachary Naik made a book. Christian Prince. I warn you, never think about me. Zachary Naik, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about your book. Exactly. What exactly? I'm talking about your book, not about you. It's different. Book is pages, you know, like pages, one, two, three, four. I did not, I did not even say anything about you. Christian Prince. First of all, I cannot talk about my book. Why I cannot talk about my book? Because my book is a very, very important book. Okay, your book, because it's important, I'm talking about it. You know, don't you see? I have a comedy show and your book fit perfectly in the shelf. Christian Prince. First of all, my book is not comedy. Okay, well, your book is about comedy, man. Don't you see the guy saying that Quran science debunked? What's wrong with you? Christian Prince, this person in the bunk. 
And then why you think that is a punk? Okay, do you have a proof? I have a proof. Okay, what is the proof? I have a proof. Like, what? What? Okay, do we get a proof? First of all, I can't give you a proof against a Muslim. You can't give me a proof against a Muslim? But he just gave me a proof against you? With him, what proof he gave you against me? He just said Quran and science and debunked. And you made a book about Quran and science. That means you are bunk. So he gave a proof against you. Answer him. With him, friends. I'm going to answer him. I'm going to debut him. I'm going to get him butted. Inside this, but I'm going to move ahala. You are move ahala. What does that mean? I'm going to ask him to my Allah curse him if he's lying. Okay. And what you will do on your side? I will ask Allah to curse him of lying. And what the benefit for us from that party? A cursing party. You curse yourself if you are lying. He curse himself if he is lying. And Allah is not even listening. What the heck is that? Hey, Razakir, are you there? Where are you going? Zakir, where are you going? Zakir, get them friends. I can talk to you. I'm busy. Do we have any Muhammadan? What the heck is that? So the punk, he said that Islam debunked? Hmm. So all drama about, I mean, look, look at it. And by the way, look how many books he have behind him. He is, this guy is so knowledgeable. He is so knowledgeable. Do we have any Muslim here? He have a lot of books. Oh, there is a there is a cartoon with my voice uh, about Zachary Naik. Actually, I saw it once. I was in Europe. I was in France, I think. Hold on, hold on. Where is the where is the cartoon? Let me. Yeah, here we go. You did not see this cartoon? I don't know who is the one who made this cartoon, but it's funny. <laughs> not a true. I'm going to mute the music so they cannot, uh, you know, uh, uh, YouTube can give us a copyright strike. Too bad it have a music, you know. And then you will see Zachary Naik. Here, let's go to Zachary Naik where the cartoon start. The cartoon start here, I think. Assalamu alaikum. As Christian Prince, Christian Prince, please, for the God, for the sake of Allah, leave me alone. I told you one million times, don't call me after middle of the night. First of all, I might be having sexual intercourse with my wife now. Secondly, this is sexual harassment. <laughs> Number three, I have no answer for you. Hey brother, but we have a question here about this verse in chapter 66, verse number three. <laughs> I mean, what Allah, what the Prophet, he told his wife a secret, and then the secret is spread around, and the secret became very well known, and then Allah told him about it. And then Allah, he made him know part of the a part of it and avoid the part. What is that part? Okay, I will tell you. First of all, don't ever listen to Christian Prince. He always, first of all, show me your faith. Show me your faith, I will give you the answer. Dr. Zakir Naik, the people want to know. It's not forget about Christian Prince. I cannot forget about seeing your faith. I am sure you had in your faith because of a very, 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 very reason. Very, very good reason. Okay, Zakir Naik, maybe I don't look good, man, like you, you know. You look good. I don't look good. Why I want to show my face? I know it. I know it. I am sexy and I know it. Thank you very much. Anyway, I have to stop the video because now Zachary Naik, he start dancing with the music and it might have a copyright on it. So he started dancing and singing, I am se I'm sexy and you know it. <laughs>
I mean, the guy who who did this video, he have the skills I have to say, and he starts trapeze. <laughs> I'm sexy and I know it. You want to get a copy for this? Are you serious? What do you want to do with copy? You know, you cannot get copy. You cannot get copy. This is like a serious business here. You know, this is nuclear. <laughs> okay, this is the like download and share it around. Yeah, first time I saw it, I, I was really happy so bad. <laughs> it turned to me there is somebody there is somebody copying my you know and uh, making a cartoon it was fun <laughs> and then he started dancing like you know Zakir Naik is so good in dance man look Sahir Bukhari <laughs> and with the music is more hilarious <laughs> Look, he's shaking his booty. <laughs> mm. Oh boy. <laughs> look and look at the stand of the microphone is going between his legs. <laughs> He's doing gymnastic. Ah, that's hilarious. Look, look, look at the last uh, move. I mean, he can, look, look, look at the look at the glasses he's wearing. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> and oh, and why the underwear is yellow? <laughs> Do you know that the Shia, they believe that if you wear yellow sh your, uh, bla black shoes, your penis cannot stand up? <laughs> and this is why every Shia should wear yellow shoes. <laughs> oh, boy. And now, this is why you don't want to show your face. Now, let me give you the answer. Unbelievable. Okay, brother, what is the answer? Allah Prophet, he told his wife that he is not going to sleep with Maria. Some scholars, they say it is not about Maria. It's about who is going to be the caliphate after the Prophet. And the wife, they spread the news. And that could the problem. Uh, brother, are you saying that your Prophet, he made a mistake by doing that? First of all, Prophet of Allah never made a mistake. As an example. There is a story that the Prophet, he used to cook and his eyes did the clothing. Uh, brother, the Prophet used to cook and his eyes did the clothing. He used to cook what? I will explain to you. The Prophet, his favorite food, it was adwa. Uh, adwa is the palm tree fruit. You don't cook it. You idiot. You idiot. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Adwa. It's cooked in the mouth. You put it in your mouth and you cook it before you eat it. Thank you. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim want to give us a call? <laughs> and by the way, all those things I make up when I talk about Zachary, I just made them right away, you know? Like they said to me, Do you like write them down before? I don't just, I just want to, you know? <laughs> Anyway, I hope you have a good time together. And with the, the comedy of Zakir Naik, I hope you guys you enjoy it. Don't forget to eat, uh, to cook ajwa, because ajwa can fight uh, diseases. And in the worst scenario, you can buy necklace seed from, uh, from uh, Mimi Hijab. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad is said that uh, the necklace seed has the cure for any disease, brother. Don't go to hospital. No. Don't see a doctor. No, 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 no. Just eat the necklace seed. That as an example of me. I don't go to doctor. Why? Huh? Why? I have necklace seed. Every day in the morning, I open my mouth. I put one necklace seed. 
In the second morning, I eat another nugless seed. When there is was a pandemic, pandemic, not pandemic, pandemic in the world, nothing happened to me. Why? I take nugless seed. When they come to me and they say to me, you need to you pay your electric bill. What I did, I gave them nugless seed. When I go to the gas station and they say to me, the gas is so expensive, I gave them nugless seed. And they are so grateful. Go to Walmart. Walmart, they say, sir, you have to use your credit card. I insert in the machine necklace seed. Since then, it's not working. <laughs> Brother, necklace seed is a solution for anything. It is the cure of any disease except death. <laughs> and I don't know since when death is a disease. Sounds like something fishy here. The knowledge of the Prophet and science is beyond your imagination. Your what? Imagination. May the shen of Allah bless you all. Take a beer. And don't forget, don't buy bloody light. Bud light. This is the drink of Muhammad, not our drink. Thank you all for being here. I hope we have a good time together. Don't forget to leave your comment and uh, share and uh, subscribe. And don't forget to unsubscribe because when you do that, Allah will bless you because you unsubscribe from a Christian prince, the enemy of Allah. Allah will give you extra deed and reward. So subscribe and subscribe. Let us drive YouTube not and crazy. And YouTube will crush. Crush cola. See ya.